Welcome podcast. Me and Josh again. It's been a little while, so bear with me because when I'm doing them all the time, I realise my thought processes mm. definitely work better. Mm. But I'm relaxed, and we've got someone in in the in the building that I'm still in shock that I'm able to do this with. So today we've got Leon Black. If you remember Bullet Boy, yeah. Wisdom, yeah. we've got a lot to talk about. So Josh, let's give yeah. him a quick clap, man. Thank give you, him man. a clap. Yeah. Wicked. My brother, brother, listen, nice to meet you. So this is what we do on every episode, yeah? Okay. So it's top first, top first, bottom twice, bottom twice, then the top. So bottom top first, one, two, bottom twice, top, top. Boom. Oh, Enjoy okay. that. Wicked. Mm. So Leon. Yes. We're just gonna. We're gonna go from scratch, scratch. Okay, okay. But actually, we were kind of talking about something quite interesting just before the camera started rolling. Yeah. You were saying you've never spoken about yourself before. No. Not not like um, no, not 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 like talking about me and my life. You know, I spoke I've spoke about a project I'm working on or an, an incident that might have happened, but I've never I've never spoke about myself. Something I've always wanted to do. You know what I mean? Okay. A lot, yeah, just, just, you know, just, I, I don't know, people talk about themselves, didn't they? And I watch them and <laughs> yeah. you know, I ain't had a chance to do it for myself, that's all. Well, it's interesting you say that because a lot of people can say, oh, people are just jumping on a bandwagon, yeah, people yeah. just want something to tweet about, yeah, yeah. etc. Or people are wanting attention, that's why they've said this, that and the yeah, other. Yeah. You know, mental health problems and men especially. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, I'm not a woman, so I can't speak for women. Yeah. I can only speak for men and what I've dealt with and others around me. That talking. Yes. Just even something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking. Is so vital. Of course. Definitely. And and talking about yourself. Mm. And again, this could be to someone you know or don't. Yeah, I think it's easier to talk to strangers, isn't it? Yes, actually. You know, because there's no, um, you know, they're not going to judge you straight. They've got no prejudgment about you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And they, they don't know your background. They're just, you're just talking. You, you're just talking, listening to the story, and they get a fresh sort of opinion on you, maybe. You know? And I think that's where the therapy comes into play. Because, yeah, you know, I've always got blokes around me, ah, I ain't doing that shit. Or oh, no, no, yeah. Which, nice. I, which I get, because yeah. they're like, how's talking to this random person going to help me or because sometimes everyone loves to use the words oh oh, he's real Mm. because he will tell you straight but sometimes when your friends just tell you straight you don't i don't know if 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 that's the right way do you know what yeah like um and 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 the one thing i will say people are are talking to people a lot more often now yeah men definitely you know it's nowhere near where it should be should be Mm. but you know i I'm surprised that some of the people who've told me they've got they do their counselling sessions. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And um, even even they do it over the phone during COVID and you know things like this. So um, and, and you know I've got I've got a few pals who suffer with mental health issues. Okay. You know a couple of them are really severe. Mm-hmm. Um, actors, a couple of my acting pals, bad mental health man. Like. Mm. You know, they, they might not answer the phone for five months and, and then all of a sudden phone you out of the blue. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Which which shows sort of how long their episodes could go for. Exactly. You know? Because it's, sometimes yeah. it's, it's unexplainable. Yeah. Because you just think, then you personalise it and yeah, you think yeah. they're, they're ignoring you. Yeah. yeah. What, is you it got, me? What, what, have I, yeah. what have I done? Yeah. You know? No, but from you know, I think you can you can tackle it better. And, and I've got a lot of patience. Mm. Do you know what I mean? With... Um, not with everyone, but with my friends. Yeah. With my friends who suffer. And I should have patience with everyone, but well, maybe, maybe that's where that's where I've come to in life now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I Absolutely. Just, I can only have patience with a... Well... With a certain amount of people. That, and a certain amount of time. A certain amount of time, yeah. That, and, and, and that's manageable for me as well. Mm. Because I was a person... I used to love taking on people's problems. Yeah. Okay, in what sense? Like just, just um, you know, if someone's... If someone had a problem, I'd give them my full attention. I'd, I'd create strategies and plans for them. Mm. And it's all a diversion tactic, isn't it, to not deal with any of your own. <laughs> yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You, you remember that? Absolutely. Um, what's that tune? Um, oh, yes, I'm the great 
Pretender, <laughs> pretending that I'm doing well. Wait, I don't know that song. Yeah, old yeah. mum used to play it on tape. Okay. In, uh, Nissan, Nissan Micra. Old, old Nissan Micra she had. No. Nice. Um, yeah, so I, I, think, I think that's what I've done for a lot of years. Okay. I, I pretended I was, I was coping and happy and I think, I think since, cause I, since I was four I've been entertaining. So right. Do you know what I mean? Let's now go back, yeah? Because mm. so, this, is, this is your time to literally go through everything that's happened right. up to this point, which has that's been a lot. <laughs> a lot, and we've got a long time. Yeah, all right. So let's, let's start from, where was you uh, brought up, sorry? Uh, Bethnal Green, born and bred. Born and bred, Born Bethnal and bred Green. in Bethnal Green, um, Touring Street, Tower Hamlets, um, top floor, top floor, five, five, flat, five flights, top floor. Okay, yeah. so, I mean, from meeting you, your personality seems very your people person. Oh yeah, I am definitely. And definitely. you're, you, you, I don't know if if you was like this back then, but no, you, no, you analyze yeah, no, I've, and you yeah. sit back and yeah, I've I've always been a people person. Mm. I've always, I've you know, I, I remember when I was little, um, I, you know, because I want everyone to like me because it's. It's, it was part of me. What was we talking about just Is before? It me, yeah? Well, I, 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 I went home one time and um, I, was, I was upset. And my mum was saying, "What are you upset for?" And I was saying, "Well, I was trying to talk to this boy at school and he didn't want to talk to me. And he talks to my other friends and whatnot." And she was like, "Leon, not everyone's gonna like you." And I just couldn't. I didn't believe her. And I think, you know, I think that's that's uh, that helped with the entertainment world as well. You know what I mean? Cause Absolutely. I, I, I was just. You know, I've always I've always enjoyed people. I like talking to people. I like I like breaking people's preconceptions because I look, I think I look rougher than I am, and I look a lot different than I actually am. So do you mean as in, just like just, a bit, uh, like being able to look after yourself? Yeah, yeah. People people think and if I you're look a bad boy. I'm not. Yeah, and that pe- type of thing. Yeah, I, I not everyone, but I I know I know when people look at me and instantly they they think. Oh, you're Rough around the edges, and he's, uh, <laughs> okay. My face when I'm when I'm by myself as well. My face is screwed up like bad. Like, <laughs> do you know what I will say? Just yeah. for just for speaking to you, you you do have quite um like you 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 do have a lot of facial expressions. Mm. So it, it does but make sense why you're on, an actor as well. I've been working on my facial expressions, funny enough, for the last for the last year. Okay, because I've just um, so I started writing a project. Maybe two years ago, a uh, project called Enoch, which we'll come to later. Absolutely, absolutely. At the end, because it's the end. But, um, but yeah, I, I, so, d- 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 well, the character, d- there's no lines for the character. Okay. So it's all about his facial expression. Right. So I, I find myself just, anytime I'm in the mirror, I go through a couple faces, I did da da and Yeah. But I've, but I've always, I've always had, um, you know, I talk to myself a lot. Yeah. I think to myself a lot. Are you a Gemini? No, I'm an Aquarius. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, the Gemini's do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, think, I think a lot and talk to myself a lot. Especially when I'm at work, because I don't have a radio on. I just, uh, I just, I just pull out the mic, put it on the wall and think and just work. So I know I do a lot of talking to myself. Yeah, well, I'm, j- yeah. just like what we were talking yeah, about, I have a problem as well. So yeah. I, I'm constantly trying to listen to something. Yeah. Because my mind, when it's, when it's just silent, yeah. sometimes it's, that's more overbearing than... See, I love Sorry, it. Something I, I, else. I love it. I love. Um, I love. I love when I can just uh, think. I build ideas. So I'll, I'll. I'll start writing. I'll start writing in my head. Okay. Um, and I'll. I'll come up with a concept and idea. Um, and I'll just keep writing in my head until until I've got from start to finish. Mm-hmm. And I know. I sort of know where it goes. Okay. And then. Um, and yeah, that could take a year. Mm-hmm. So oh. are we talking about uh, script writing? Yeah, script writing. Okay. Um, I've always done it. When I was, when I, was uh, I used to rap back in the day and mm-hmm. I was a drum and bass MC. And I would, I'd always do it then. So I'd come up with a line, keep going over that line. Then I'd come up with a second line, first and second line, first and second line, third line, first, second, and third, first, second, and third. And I'll just keep doing it like that. And so you, that's it. You go in the booth and you're just spitting. Absolutely. No, so or, you're or, not writing down. Yeah, or oh, so, it, so with it. your script, a lot of it is actually created yeah, mentally. Everything, yeah. And then I'll, and then I'll write... Okay, so scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, scene, and I'll do that, and then we go building again, and we come up with more. Okay, and more, okay, and more, and we just keep writing. And I so so let's go back, yeah. So let's go. We're gonna paint the whole picture. So yeah. you're born in Bethnal Green, yeah. and did you say it was uh, like a high rise? Yeah, well, not even a high rise. Five five floors, five floors, five, five floors. floors five all right. Floors, so what lift. was 
your younger life like in terms of your family structure? Did you have brothers, sisters? Uh, I, so, so it was just, um, so it's me, mum and dad when I was born, as I understand. And then, um, I don't know what happened, but uh, dad got taken away when I was four. Right. I think my mum called him to take him away. Don't know what he's done. Because uh, that's my earliest memory, my dad getting taken away. Okay, and is that by police? Police, yeah. Okay. So that's my, that's my first memory, I will say. And I know I was four because I've spoke to my mum about it and my dad about it. Mm. Everything's all right now. But, um, so then I was four, um, and uh, it's funny because I turned around to my mum. Um, we, had, we had a Sky TV satellite, I think it was. Okay. We had satellite when I was really young. And um, I was in the front room watching the TV. And I turned around to my mum and I said, Mum, why is there no black people on TV? Right. And she said, I don't know, Lee. Why don't you go on TV? I said, all right then, I will. Right. And um, So well, by that, at that point, were you already quite fascinated with film, film TV? TV, entertainment? Just, just like me, honestly. Yeah, just yeah. like, um, I mean, videos, video, videos. I'd watch, I'd cry with my aunt. So, so you remember you used to rent videos from a video shop? Yeah, that was and, great though, wasn't it? Yeah, and you'd get it for a day. Yeah, and then nah. when you didn't bring it back, you yeah. got fined. Yeah, and... you get fined the two pounds. Yeah. So my 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 aunt used to only let me watch the film once. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and that used to wind me up. Yeah. So um, the minute I started buying my own videos, and I I just used to watch film. I, I've watched, you know, I, I watch them all. I just watch film. Love yeah. Film, and and that's since sort of four, and then um. And then I remember I was in a school play. Um, I think it was my first year in Infants. Mm. I was in a school play. It was a, a play called Max and the Wild Things. Mm. And I played Max. I had the lead role. Right. So um, I, <laughs> I, I, I climbed to the top of the apparators. I just freestyled it. I just went on the freestyle. Yeah. And I fell down the back. Right. The Do you remember the apparators they used to yeah. pull out? Yeah, they used to be big, quite big yeah, as well. They were high, yeah, yeah. But, but it was against the wall. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. fell down the back of it. And the so it's not a drop. Did they have the rope and. Yeah, they got the rope, the rings, the, the ladder. Yeah. The, so it weren't, it weren't a straight drop to the floor. It was yeah. sort of a. Down, down the, yeah. the, the monkey bars, then a piece of the rope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then maybe through a oop, leg boom. And I got to the bottom and then. Um, and I jumped up and carried on. Okay, okay. I jumped up, carried on, finished the whole play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was like four or five. And um, one of the teachers, I, I don't even remember what teacher. Yeah. But this was in a school called Lordow. Um, and were you in Bethnal? At this yeah, this is in Bethnal. It was cool. Lordow or, um, they twist, you twist them off. Oh yeah, I know, but you know what? <laughs> Sometimes they're so cold, they're oh, hard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cutting your, cutting That's because you're a plumber. <laughs> you were, well, plaster is done. <laughs> <laughs> Our hands are rough as it's horrible, but um, but yeah. So, so, so this fella told my mum to um, to put my name down at this drama class, Anna Schurz. Right. So she put my name down when I think I was about five or six. I'm, I, I can't remember exactly what age. I was about mm. five or six. Um, she put my name down, and I think there was a two or three year waiting list at the time. And I got in when I was eight. And. Um, I, I, the, I, I, going into Anna Schurz, do you know much about her? No, not too much. Tell me. She's an amazing woman. She's the best. <sighs> like, uh, you know, you've you got your mum in your life, your okay. sister's in your life, mm. your grand's in your life, and you've got Anna in your life. Right. Do you know? Like, so George George came to Anna Schurz. So Anna Schurz was... A the, drama school. Right, okay. So and was, what age was you at that I then? was eight. Right, I didn't realise you went so young. And yeah, so did George, yeah. I'm guessing. Well, George... I was 10 when I met George. Okay. So George would have been 13. And um, so we worked together on a children's program called Oasis. Right, yes. When I was 10 and he was 13. Yeah. And it was a mixture of Anna Scher kids and Sylvia Young kids. Right, okay, Sylvia okay. Sylvia Young's being the drama school in South London, I believe, or mm. South West, something like that. I'm not too sure. But um, so that's when I met George. But Anna Scher, as, as, a, as a woman, in your life is is amazing. This woman, and and, and I think everyone who's ever been taught by her mm. will will admit that they owe part of their you know part of who they are. Yeah. How they talk to people. Absolutely. How yeah. they how they analyze things. How their their tolerances with people. Mm. Um, and I think a lot of us are people people. You know, like we. I, I struggle with us, that sometimes to to know if that's right because some people. They, they, I think they, 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 they want to not like people. Oh, I'm just talking people. about the Annas lot. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. You oh, are yeah. people as a no, whole. No, people in general. There's some. I just, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> there's, there's people out there that just don't like people. I don't really like people. I, I, I've got people I like now, innit? Okay. I don't want new friends. I, I, you know, I've got. I've, I've, I've kind of latched on. I'm, I'm seeing someone at the moment. I've, I've sort of latched onto her friends at the moment. Oh, right. Because it's a whole different crowd than I'm used to. And, um, and sometimes that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. You get to just be, you know. It is, cause, and that's another thing. Like, I think some people think people can be jumpers. So yeah. I remember, I've, st- I've got a very close group of friends, but I remember mm. the first time leaving them to go to university or when I yeah. lived in Ibiza or, yeah. and you meet a different bunch of friends. They're yeah. always going to be my core family, like yeah, friends. Yeah, but, but there is a difference when you do branch out and meet mm. other different people and groups. You learn how good they are as well. And that's it, that's it. And that some people are better than some of the people that you've been with for yeah, a long time. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and it, it tells you something about yourself. You know, Definitely. I, 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 um, you know, I've been, been with this lady for a while now and, and I eat funny food now. I've, I've, so what, were you quite plain before? I've just always eaten the same. From, I was, from as far back as I can remember, I like what I like, I don't try nothing new. See, it's funny, from meeting you and talking to you and how open your personality is yeah. and... And, and being an actor in general, yeah. I feel you have to be open open and extravagant in certain ways yeah, to no, just, depict certain emotions and yeah, yeah. go on camera and yeah. so on. So I find, that, I find it weird that uh, yeah. you'd be a fussy no, eater. No, but I'm, I, I am a very fussy eater. Uh. And, um, uh, my best pal, he, he, he used to hate going into kebab shops with me because of the way I'd order my my meals and what I, 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 I order kebab burgers. I need it made this way, boss. Can you put a bit of that in? And then yeah, that, that would that, stress that. me out. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I, and, and I like what I like. I put ketchup on everything apart from Chinese. Right. Yeah, yeah. I put ketchup on everything. Um, um, lately, she's had me trying a lot of green food. You know, yeah, like, you, you, like, mate. But but again, once they they we wheel you yeah, in, you start liking I it. I had a miso and, chicken yesterday. I uh, weren't impressed. And what green food is she giving you? I'm like, I don't even know what it's called. Kale. I had kale for the first time the other <laughs> kale. day. Kale. Kale. Yeah, kale. <laughs> kale. Um, yeah. What else is she giving me? She's, she, kale. I'm not a fan of. No, that. I'm, I'm not, not a fan lie. of that at all. I, I, I've, I've never eaten spinach before. Her. Yeah, no, um, 100. I, I do. I do like asparagus. Yeah, no, asparagus, yeah. to me, asparagus is just like a longer version of like broccoli and I don't yeah, mind broccoli. I, I don't mind broccoli. I like mate, asparagus. Look at you, mate. You've been training clearly. Oh, I've been working hard. I've, I've lost, I've cut, I, I had this job. <laughs> I keep going off of the subject. No, it's cool. I, so, I always mentally know, so yeah, I always So, you know, the back. sun's been out. Yes. Like, the sun's been out. Yeah. So, um, obviously, I'm a plasterer. It's my, yeah. my day job. That's what I do. Plastering is... It's, it's so hard. hard. It's, it is, isn't it? So hard. Now, in this heat that we've had for the past sort of two, three... Well, not, not these last two weeks, but before that, we had sort of two, three weeks of heat. Mad like, heat. Like, blistering heat. Yeah. And I was on this job, and I, I'm just sweating. Buckets, buckets. Yeah. And then we went on site, and, and, and it's like 550 a metre. Yeah. So, you've got to get your meterage out, in you? So we're just sweating, and I've gone home in the mirror one time, and I've, so I said, "Babe, look at this, look at me." <laughs> so I'm all ripped up. So I'm, I'm looking good at that. I'm looking good in it, babe. That's, you know what I mean? That's all work. You say, mate, this job. I don't know why I do it. Mate, it's like well, I, I can tell you, especially when you're working on site, yeah. you, you you naturally become like, well, hold on, yeah, I ain't gone gym in like a month. Mm. That's not like me. Yeah. But I've been doing gym at work all day. Yeah. Mate, I've got calves. My calves, yeah. <laughs> My calves and are that's, dead. And that's all hot. Yeah, but I'm a hop up. Up and down that hop up. Yeah, up and down mate. that hop up. So you, are you up. plastering on site at the minute? At the minute, no. At the minute, I'm doing an attic conversion. Right, okay, yeah, okay. I've, got, I've, I've, I've locked in with this um, geezer who does lofts. Um, I've done, I done one at loft conversion last two weeks ago. Yeah. And then um, and then he's just put me on this one and he's got another one lined up mate, for me. always in need of plaster. I'm telling you, mate. Well, they, they didn't for a little while, did they? Got all that tape and jointing in. Oh. And that was bad for No, business. but that's not... It's, oh, Cheap. mate. It, People but that, you, usually, that messes up everyone else as well. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So, mate, plastering, I'm not lying to you. My dad tried to teach me plastering. Oh, is it? He does the skin spread. He does it all. Oh, is it? Right. Yeah. And, and it... It it killed years. me. I hate it. Takes it. Years. I hated it. Years. it. That years. that is the worst thing that I've ever had to do in terms of like construction. Yeah, yeah. like learning. But the, the, the thing with plastering, because I love it. I love plastering. Don't get me wrong. I've got days where 
I look at walls and I just think, like, you're like, no. <laughs> I can't even bother to tackle them. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Of course. But, but you know, you've got your days where, where everything just spreads nice and it, everything is cool and you've set up properly. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, you yeah. sleep and it spreads. And, and I, love, I love my job, but it takes years. Years. Like years. I'm talking, you learn how to plaster in, in a year and a half. Two years, yeah, you think you got it, you go out and do your first job, mess it up, they don't <laughs> want to pay you, oh, <laughs> all that. Messing up jobs is horrible. Yeah, 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 I'm telling you. I still do it now. Oh, <laughs> mate, I'm telling you. Then, then you go back to uh, you go back to the geezer who, who mentored you, and then he teaches you, and then you try and venture out again, and it takes long. And I'm, I'm sort of, um, I think I'm on my third year on my own. Mate, I'm that's st- amazing, man. Let's yeah, clap him, bro. Let's clap him. I, well I still work with the geezer who... But the geezer who taught me uh, how to plaster. And how important are those people, man? Because oh, man, very, very. you, um, obviously, we're, we're going to go through your whole story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sweet. was this on the t- tailor end of your life and it, learning how to plaster? Yeah, this was this was um, this was on the back end of my long holiday when when they when they sent me on a long holiday. Yeah. This is uh, I learned how to plaster, which is funny because my other pal was on a long holiday, well, short holiday, and um, I taught him how to plaster in there. Don't worry, we're gonna go yeah, into. That was, that was fun. We're gonna go through everything. But yeah, where are we then? Four. We're four. So let's we go, just yeah, yeah, no, 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 we're eight. We're eight, and we're in Anna Shurs. So let's go back to so, yeah. you. So at this moment, yeah. You're. Are, are you like making a load of friends now, and and because of your acting? Because I know that if kids are getting into, for example, ma- males, they're getting yeah. into gymnastics, yeah. acting, stuff like that. Yeah. It, it, it sometimes can look a certain way to the other kids and the fathers and yeah. so on and so forth, especially at that period. Yeah, so you know, eight years so, old we're talking. Uh, that, so you, at your eight years old, was yeah. was you happy to be acting as well? Yeah, yeah. So I, I've from from I done Max and the, sorry my hands like cream don't work on me anymore. No, nah, mate, listen, <laughs> no worries. Look, look that's, how rough that's my twice. I've got cuts I've cut, all over I've my. I've creamed hand. them twice. I've got cuts and. Anyway, so I've um, got Nivea if you want some. Yeah, we'll have some of that after. Um, yeah. So I've I've walked into there and it, I've, I've I've always loved acting. I've always loved TV. I've always loved entertaining. Mm. And um, this is the first place that I'm going to get taught how to do it now. Okay. How, how good am I? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. In, in school, I, I I was the main character in all the plays. Okay. Up until the last year of school, and they changed it. I was upset. But we'll talk about that. Of course. So of I've course. walked into one of the shows. Um, Who's the first? I can't remember one of the first people, but it was just a, a, a mixture of people. Okay. So my whole thing growing up in Bethnal Green in the eighties was that, you know, it was like five black families. There was like three, three, three black families on my estate. Yeah. Um, like eight black kids in our school, uh, four mixed race. But the thing is, people don't realize. I think in this generation now no. that black people in East yeah. sounded Cockney. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they were. You, you got um, you got them. You got you got the ones that come Jamaica when they were like eleven. They come from Jamaica, yeah. so their whole Cockney accent is is weird because they say, "No nah, man, yeah, no, I'm not yeah, doing that, man." Yeah, yeah. Sure. it's very. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's, it's a mix of Cockney and Jamaican, yeah. and it's 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 the maddest thing. But but so so I was in Bethnal, and it, it was just all white kids. All I was just raised around white kids. And, and I, don't get me wrong, these are my friends, these are my pals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I speak to them, I'm back in Bethlehem now, and I get to speak to them and see them on about and about, school friends. But um, I've walked into Anna's and there's just a, a, a whole colourful array of people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've just got, like my school, just yeah, the same. Well, you, this is it. And, and Anna's shows is, is good because it's, it's not a school, it's just a drama class. Mm. Do you know, you go there, I think when I was eight, I was going once a week. Yeah. And then... Um, and then when I turned ten, I got into the young professionals, which is the you go Friday and Saturday, and you're you're on the agency. And so I've walked in, I've seen everyone, and I, that first class was brilliant. I was taught by a woman called Bernadette. I hadn't even met Anna Sher yet. Okay. No, I hadn't met Anna Sher yet. I've met Bernadette, and Bernadette taught me from eight to ten. Um, and I got my first audition. I went for my first audition when I was eight. It was called Think About Science, and I got it. Bam. And then. Um, did you have to uh, memorise lines at that time yeah, as well? Yeah, but um, I've, uh, lines was nothing. It, it's a bit different now, but um, when I was younger, I'd, I'd memorise my lines for the whole script. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd go through the script. Me, and I was really close to my mum when I was younger mm. and, and doing all this because it was just me and my mum now mm. in the flat. And, um, 
And I, I, was, I was talking to my partner about this the other day. My mum would encourage me and tell me, no, Lee, do it like this, do it like this. Yeah. Like, no, you can't do that. And I'd go, no, you can't do that. And she'd go, yeah, <laughs> Lee. And she'd give me claps. And, do you know what I mean? And um, I think that's important. I think that was really important. Definitely. To just have, um, you know, like, it's, it's the way you train a dog. Mm. If a dog does something well, you reward the dog. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that they, they get used to praise and reward for doing good. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, it's the same way I raised my son. My son's um, Tottenham under 15s, England under 15s. Amazing. And um, I taught him to kick a ball 11 months and clapped him every time. Yeah. Clapped, yeah, the best. And he goes, yeah. And, you know what I mean? So my mum, you know, I've done it for my son. My mum done it for me. And um, to give you, again, just like how you was given a trade, yeah. like some experience, it's a choice. Yeah, because I think people don't get that. You know, people that have degrees or uh, yeah. they make their children do karate or learn the saxophone. Or mm. these things are just another way to have a choice about what your personality may. That's it. Yeah, just just, just, just open you up. Just... Did you feel that acting from an early age gave you confidence? At yeah, least? well, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, at first, so you know, when I was young acting. It was it was all celebrated, you know. It was all um, everyone was happy, and and I suppose it that did carry on. But you know, over the years you get older and jealousy sets in and people change. Absolutely. You know? But um, when I first started doing it, man, I, I loved it. I done Desmonds. I done um, the Real McCoy. Mm -hmm. I was the, the the young kid in the Vex family in there. I was um, think about science. I done another children's program called LRTV, mm -hmm. and I got to meet different people from different walks of life. Absolutely. I was, I was council estate, and I began to, so we have chaperones, and um, I'd be, our chaperone would be dropping us off, and the houses, some of the houses some of these, these kids lived in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I was like, wow, you've got like three floors in your house. <laughs> yeah. I got three, you've got two in your house. You know what I mean? I'm a, all my stairs were outside of our flat. And at this time though, can you say that, what, 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 what was you then like when you become a teenager now? Oh, right. So you're so, seeing, you know, going into these different people's lives with different amounts of money and stuff like yeah. that. Now, being in Bethnal Green, yeah. what, what was that like for you? Because you're dealing with just so, living with a single mother as yeah, well. Yeah, so this, this was the thing now. When it comes to leaving secondary school, um, leaving primary school. Primary school, yeah. Um, I got into... The two schools in Bethnal Green, Rains and Oakland. Okay. And I got into Central Foundation Boys in Islington. Okay. And um, I remember telling my mum I want to go Central because I, I heard there was a lot of black kids there. Mm. And I think it's about time I mix around with some black kids. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, not, not that one. I just wanted to mix with people that I look like. Yeah, I understand. You know? yeah. Um, and again, racial segregation was... was much more apparent oh, yeah, at was, that point than yeah. today. We used to have NF sprayed up everywhere. Everywhere. Marker pens, NF, and we'd go round and we'd turn them into AFC. You know, you put the line through, AFC, yeah, but mate, listen, it was it was rife. I had, um, my, my cousin's auntie was a skinhead. Do you know what I mean? Uh, my cousin's a half Irish, half Jamaican. Mm. So what's your heritage, actually? Mine's, I'm, I'm, I found out the other day I'm a mongrel. Like I'm a proper mongrel, so, so my mum, my mum's Jamaican. Um, her mum's an Indian woman. No, no, my mum's Jamaican. Her mum's half Indian and half, half black, I suppose. Okay. But my great grand was an Indian woman, like proper Indian woman. Mm. My, I'm not really that much of a mongrel. My nan, my other nan was Jamaican, but then my granddad, on my dad's side, I found out the other day was a Scottish, half Scottish. Okay, so uh, you've got I mean, quite a mix. Yeah, yeah, he's a mongrel. I'm not, I'm not a pedigree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a ped pedigree black brother. But, but, because a lot of people just mistake me for mixed race. I said mixed where? I don't, I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? And as well, you know, it's mad. It's mad because when I was growing up, because because I lived in Bethnal and that, yeah. I used to think all the dark skinned people were African and all the light. light well, I, I did were, the exact same, and, and you, know I mean? you know, our generations are a bit apart. Yeah. But it's I'm mad. telling you, I, I literally thought the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. You know. And, and to be honest, you don't even know, you don't even really know where that comes from. Yeah, and you're, yeah, you don't. You, you don't. You, and, it, and it must be society. 
Yeah, hundred percent. Or it must be um, influence from TV. Exactly. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? But which comes from society. Which comes from society. Yeah, yeah because that, who, people what? are basically trying to imitate what they well, see. This is it. This they, is it. You know. So, okay. So let's get into now. Yeah. You're now growing up, and you've got a vivid personality. Yeah. Like, what was being in school like? Like, what were your friendships like? Was you getting into trouble? Like, in, what, in, what was your personality like at that point? So, so I, I started knocking about um, with the friends I know now. The, the, my oldest friends now are, um, are the ones I met in school. And I, I think I was lucky enough to have that group of friends around me at that time of my life because, because they were very supportive and they, they relished in it. They relished in the fact that they're my friend. They, they, uh, you know, up to, up to today, I still get some phone calls like, hey, hey, Blacks, talk to this girl, talk to this girl. <laughs> they, they're trying to get the beat. You know what I mean? They, they, they're just trying to get the beat yeah, yeah, off of the back of my name. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, a few years ago, I'm, you know, I'm, these same core friends I'm talking as well. Yeah, They've yeah. done this since I was, 10, 11. Okay, Because okay. I was on TV them times. You yeah, know? yeah, we, okay. We'd go to um, EGA. No. Elizabeth Gareth Anderson in no. Islington. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it was a girls' school because I went to an all boys. Okay, yeah, yeah. George went there as well. George went central, um, my school. So um, we, we used to go to the girls' school at lunch. Yeah. And they'd all they'd be like, yo, that's my bridge in Leon. What? You don't know? That's my friend. You get me? So they'd use me to get these girls. Okay, okay, and okay. That was at 13. That's, that's sort of to kiss girls. And then, and then as we get older, and we're going raving, they yeah. use me in the raves. Okay, I understand. Do you know what I mean? To yeah, so yeah. get the girls and, hey, hey Leo, wait, Blacks, come here, Blacks, come, come, tell this girl. Oh, I don't like your friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, because I think when I was like raving and that, I'd just done the murder of Stephen Lawrence as well. So, yeah. Uh, and I was a firefighter in London's burning, all, the, all this stuff. And my face was just bait. Everyone knew my face. People, I've had, I've had people, it's been good sometimes, it's been bad sometimes. What, in terms of what they say about your acting? Or? No, no, no one says nothing about my acting. Oh, oh yeah, I was, I was going to no, say. No, 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 no. Just about, just, like... Just like, a lot of... Uh, so there's one time, um, years ago, I was, I was on a bus. Maybe this is why I don't ride buses as well. I don't <laughs> do buses. I do a train, not a bus. And this fella's come out to me, and he's gone, I know you. I said, yeah, I get that a lot, bro. I get that a lot, brother. And he was like, no, I remember you, you know. I'm saying, yeah. He said, yeah, you, you moved to my cousin. I said, what? <laughs> what? I said, your cousin went. You get what I'm saying? And you know what's funny about it is that I reckon this guy had just seen me. On the TV. On the TV throughout his life. And he's now just like, I know you from I somewhere. I know you from somewhere. Is what? that, okay. And I, I don't tell people it's acting or nothing. I just, I, I, I look at him and I wait for it. Cause I, they always, they always clock like if I'm at a party or something. They look at me like I know you from somewhere. I say yeah, I wait from you. East, I'm from because East. I tell you what, if if I hadn't seen you in the, in this setting, yeah, and I just saw you out, mm. it would it would rack it my would bug you, innit? it would bug and me that, so and bad that's because it. yeah, you're the you're the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's yeah. even when you were just speaking there. Yeah. I heard that yeah. voice. I get it, I get it, I get it all the time. It's the voice yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Just when you were speaking, great. I was like, yeah. I can see how you would get yeah. a lot of different people mm. recognising you and not recognising yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So, Some people have to think for a minute. So let's go into it. Mm. Oh, wow, we got, we got the, the DVD. That's what I boy? love this film. And it's still number one um, urban, urban Music. movie. Still the number one urban movie, so... So, guys, Bullet Boy. That's I mean, good. I'm going to quickly say my opinion on what that did yeah. for me growing up. Yeah. So, that to me was the first time I'd seen a realistic realism portrayal yeah. of a hood film... Mm in the UK. Yeah, definitely. So, I'm at that age, young man, I'm thinking I'm in like, yes, eight maybe. Well, when yeah, this come out. You was in year eight when that come out. That's what I'm saying, like yeah, yeah, young, yeah, young, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So, yeah. for me, it went in like this order, it was like, 
Bullet Boy then Kid Out Hood. That, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the Bullet order. Bullet Boy, Kid Out Hood and, yeah. and etc. I think, I, think, I think Rolling With The Nines was in between. Rolling With The Nines, but yeah. obviously we can go into all of yeah, them. But, it was Bullet, but when I say Kid Bullet Boy, yeah. affected me so differently mm. to all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... One, I was confused because obviously I'm young, I'm watching So Solid on the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm seeing... Asher, Ashley. Ashley Waters yeah. on the TV. Yeah. And... But he's been at, acting for years as well. Exactly. Mm. So I'm going to say just my like perception of, of mm. my young brain yeah, watching yeah, it. Yeah. And I know that he was always in the news for different trouble. For, for, yeah. And that he'd just come out of prison yeah, and so yeah. on and so forth. So cool. that's where that was sort of geared towards changing... Yeah, that whole project. So, let's go. Let's go back. Like, how did this whole process happen, man? So, so with Bullet Boy, um, so I've known actually, you know, since I was eight. Because we, it, so when we're going to auditions, when you're when you're young and black, there, yeah. was, there was I think there was three of us. Okay. And if I didn't get a part, Ashley got a part. If Ashley didn't get a part, I got a part. Mm. And if if we were both busy, I think Mo maybe got the part, or there was another actor called Benjamin. But there was only sort of three, four of us, maybe five tops, young black actors of our age, auditioning constantly. And, um, and me and Ashley got a lot of the parts, you know? Um, so I'd known him through acting, and I think we worked together a couple times when we was young, but I've done so many projects I can't remember. So then, then this come out, then, um, then he went away. And when he came out, I got the um, I got the call for the audition. Okay, so let's let's slow down, right? Because I want to get the whole picture of this year. Yeah. So talk about like so he's gone to prison at that, but at this point, yeah. has he like created like a script and stuff for this? Year, oh no, this, uh, this this isn't Ashley's project, Bullet Boy. Okay. No. So what what happened? Bullet Boy was originally a forty-five minute special for the BBC. Okay, that's what they wanted. Nah. Re- rewind a bit to the audition. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I've walked in and there's a fella called Dominic. Is it Dominic? Desmond. Can't remember his name. Um, casting agent. Uh, he, he's the cast. He does all the cast for Top Boy now. Um, I can't remember. I don't, I don't believe I don't remember his name. I talk about him all the time, my partner. Um, but anyway, so I've, I've walked in. Um, it's him and Saul Dib, the director who does Fly on the Wall documentaries. Yes. Used to do Fly on the Wall documentaries. Don't know what he's doing now. So, walked in. There, was a, there weren't really much of a script. It was sort of a, a rough guide of what the scene that they wanted me to improvise. Mm. Um, and, and this fella, it must be Dominic. We're going to call him. Uh, he's just um, he's just going, you know, I want you to give it all. And I want you to do boom, boom, boom. Des, Desmond, Des, his name is. Des Hamilton. Okay. Des Hamilton. So he's gone, just throw it at me, whatever your slangs, and boom, 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 I want it all, I just want to hear it. And I said, all right, sweet, I can... I'm 23 now, I've, I've been on road in, in between acting, it's, it's a bit nuts, we'll go through that. We're going to go yeah. through it all. So um, I've gone in, I've, I've given him like, it must have been 30 seconds, he's gone, stop, you know what, don't need to hear anymore, can you come back tomorrow and meet Ashley? I was like, Ashley who? He said, Ashley Waters. I was like, I know Ashley. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was... He was involved and how old were you both at this point, if you remember? 23. Okay. I think and you both around the same age? I think he's a year older than me. Yeah. Or, or a school year older than me. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But we're the same age. Yeah, but yeah, like 99 or 99. Yeah, we're both 82, 83, what, 81, whatever. So, um, and he said, Ashley Waters. I was like, oh, yeah, cool, sweet. And so I've turned up the next day, same place, and, um, and we've just gone through the script and just give me the part on the spot, basically. Okay. So there's still no script, no script at all. So we're rehearsing in a gaff up in Soho. Remember, this is a 45 minute special for the BBC. To so be in your mind, you think that this is gonna be very short, just a 45 short minute special. Was you paid and stuff like that? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were paid. I've, yeah, I've always done paid work. I've, you know, mm. well, apart from later years where is it, you know it's all, it's all mad now. But um, so. Where was we? So, yeah, so we're doing the rehearsals up in Soho. Okay. And um, there's no script. No script. It's just uh, they're giving us scenarios, giving us situations mm. that we're going to be in, possibly. And, and, and they're writing the script off of mine and Ashley's improvisation. 
Right. And I ain't had no writers. And, 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 and are you sort of that rubbing you out the wrong way at that point? Well, no, I'm just... We're having a laugh. Me and Ashley really enjoyed this, Yo, this project. Like, yeah. we, we, had a, we had a laugh throughout the project. Um, but, we, but then they've come back sort of every day, they're coming back with bits of script now, which is what me and Ashley had been saying in these rehearsals that they've been giving us. Oh, and then you're like, so oh, like, hang on, I'm, I'm writing it. We're writing this. Anyway, you, you know, you're just, you're acting, you're doing what you're doing. And you're young as well, man. You're young, you're 23. But, 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 but we're both experienced actors by now. Okay. Ashley had done Storm Damage. I'd done London's Burning, The yeah. Bill 10 Times. Mm. Um, I, I've, done, I've done everything by 23. Yeah. Do you know, I mean, Bullet Boy was kind of one of my last projects. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Before I just, before I went mad. Do you know what I mean? So, um, that whole project was a blessing and a curse for me, that, right. that whole Bullet Boy thing. We filmed it in my manor in Hackney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of guys upset that, why did I bring Asha D down to East From London? South. Me? <laughs> I didn't bring no one down. This is filming, you know what I mean? And I remember one time me and, me and Ashley was doing a scene and I never knew the brother at the time, but I know him now, because I moved up to his area. Um, he's looked past the car, he said, what are you doing here? What, Asha D, yeah? All right, all right. Is that what you in the manner, yeah? And I was like, rah. And he said, bro, we're making a film. I said, what, what, what are you dealing with? Like, this is filming, this ain't. It's, but did you did you understand at that point how big he was until you was sort of Yeah, yeah, it? no, I, I knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely knew. Yeah, I knew, I knew Ashley was, you know, I've, I've, I've grown up, I, I, you know, I watch him. I don't, you know, I, I proper got, got it and all that. But, but the whole thing about, well, he's filming in East, and now he's filming top way in East, and everyone celebrates it. So it just goes to show it shows you the times, the man. And the times. So these little things like that are happening while you're just trying to do your everyday job. Like, mm. how are you dealing with that as a now besides the acting yeah. as just a man well, from Bethnal Green? How are you finding dealing with all of that then? People trying to put it on you and well, uh, nowadays, I don't, I don't, see a lot's changed for me like, um, nowadays. You know, I'm. I'm grown up. I've had a lot of life experience now, and I, I, I don't. I know how to, to talk to people. I know. I know what people to avoid talking to. I know. You know. When I went on holiday, I, I think when I was on that long holiday, I met every type of man there is to know. I can imagine. That's what I believe. I believe I've met every type. So now, when I meet someone, within the first it's a few seconds. Yeah, I met a guy like you. Didn't get along with him. Let's nip it in the bud. See, like, mate, oh, we got, got, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's kind of how I deal with things now. I'm, I, I don't really, I, you know, I don't go out anymore and stuff like this. I don't, um, I, you know, I enjoy different things. I enjoy working. I'm, I'm happy. Nah. And I wasn't happy for a long time. Mm. A long, long time. Especially that whole after Bullet Boy period and... So let's, let's like really go into it. I know it's going to be yeah. quite hard to mm. go into, especially as we go into part two. Yeah. Because th this part's part one, mm -hmm. where I wanted to, to really contextualise. Yeah. Because it, it's always hard, what I've learned, especially in podcasting, yeah. for a year. Yeah. Yeah, you've been doing this. A year. Okay. Yeah. How am I doing? Yeah, 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 good. I've, listen, I've <laughs> never done a podcast. Well, I'm on nearly like, like episode 35. 35, 30 in a year, 35. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah man. Uh, to, right. Big up to Josh as well, you know. And, yeah. uh, you know, you have to sort of understand like how to, to deal with certain mm. situations. And what cool. I realise is I like to be able to get your version out there yeah. as an actor. Yeah. Because sometimes when you're speaking to an actor, you have to understand, I know you as, as that, wisdom. The guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. so, it's, yeah. it's actually so strange yeah. trying to yeah, see, really I, I won't never get that, will I? I exactly. Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, Relearn yeah, yeah, yeah. who this man is in yeah, front of me. Yeah. Do you understand? So, so, right, so let's go back to like, what were like the type of problems that you were sort of facing after Point Le Boy come out? Which oh, right. was a phenomenal yeah, so performance from yourself, man. Phenomenal. And, and it always gets overlooked. I never get no mentions. I never, no one says nothing unless I pull her up on it. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I, mean, I, was, there was, a I was telling people day. that you're coming here. Yeah. And all I had to say, I think people, some people forgot like yeah. who maybe I was talking about. And yeah, I say, yeah. 
the one who sh- yeah, yeah, shoots shot the dog. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I. That's and what immediately I, the yeah, whole yeah, film yeah. comes back in yeah, their yeah, head. Yeah, 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 of course. So, yeah, so sorry. But to yeah, cut so you. there was a tweet the other day. I don't do Twitter. I, I, I don't know how to tweet. Tweet. Twat. Don't, man. It's so. <laughs> like, you can lose your mind but, I mean, on but that. In, in my family group, my cousin's always hitting me up with things. So I started up a page, and this fella's like, yeah, Bullet Boy, just watch Bullet Boy again. Still, num- still the best British, rare, rare, rare. Um, big up Asha D, da, 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 da. And that's like, right, that's another one I never get no fuck, you know what I mean? Like, no one ever says, like, right, Leon smashed it, apart from Hackney. Hackney will always say Leon smashed it. Okay. You know I mean? Like, Hackney, that's my manner. After Bethnal, yeah, yeah, I moved, I got away from Bethnal. Mm. So, um, but then I was, I, I sort of, I sort of started moving on road from sort of 16, them ages, I had a lot of money around me to buy weed and get rid of weed. Also, I've always tried hustling and all. To, never really great at it, to be honest. But because I'm a people person, people gravitate towards me. Uh, a lot of bad people gravitate towards me. A lot of good people. I just, people gravitate towards me. And, um, and I relish it, don't I? Because... We go back to when my mum said, not everyone's going to like you, well, I'll prove you wrong. Yeah, and you're like, no, I won't. I'll, I'll, everyone's going to like Because, you. I, mate, I'm, I go through the same thing. Sometimes I like someone even more when they don't like me. It's, it's mad. Like, what, it's, really like, like, it's so weird. Yeah. And I really, really am trying to train myself to get out of that. Yeah, well, now I'm, I'm good. I don't, I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm a, I like the little bubble I've created for myself. I like my little world that I live in. It's... It's, it's calm. <laughs> yeah. It's calm. Well, it's, listen, this is what we're going to do. Um, before we go into part two, yeah. we're going to delve a little bit more into just some of the, the yeah, problems. Yeah, because I'm all that, over the place. I know my head's... No, oh, listen, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Listen, it's absolutely fine. Like, it's, it, it's... This, again, is the thing about podcasts with people. I think, yeah. you know, a lot of people try and judge too much about cohesion and where it's got... Like, this is the way a real... This is real. This is, you know, there's no producers yeah, telling no, you to do just this. And see what that, yeah. I'm a genuine fan. Yeah, there you go. And I think many people are out there. I can mm. see a market for people that really want to know your story. Yeah. So. Well, if, 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 if we're going to talk about the first half of my story, I think, I think 16, 16 when I, I stopped going to college. That's when things started to start. That's what I was going to say. So mm-hmm. hold on. Right, so part two, Dominic Kelman podcast, Leon Black. So right, so where we left off yeah. was, so now you had a few issues yeah. with, with, with like road life interfering with actual acting. Yeah. Can you explain a bit about that? So, I, so I, I, I think I jumped on road when I was about 16. Okay. And tell the people, for the people watching what that means. So that that's, that means you're 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 going into street life. That you you know you you you're rolling with a with a a, a, a certain type of guys and that do this and that and that and this. Yeah. So my first experience with road, I'd always smoke weed. I started smoking weed very early, sort of um, twelve. There was no stunt, it was just weed. And um, you know, like I said, I'm a, people gravitate towards me. So a lot of people wanted to get me on their wave. Mm. Could you get influenced quite easily? Then? I do get influenced. Not now, but I used to get influenced very easily. Okay. Because I want everyone to like me. Mm. Yeah, you see how it works. Hundred percent. It's horrible, and then, you know, I, I wish I flipping learned years ago mm. to just. But just but, you, but let's go into what even like getting easily influenced is because. I my my problem, and I, I I always bring it back to me just because you're saying so many things I relate to, and I think a lot of people relate to. I to this day now, I I really get influenced by fun. Yeah, well, what, no, what, what yeah, my yeah, idea yeah, of fun? Yeah, did, did you? Talk well, about no, that? my my whole thing was that um, I didn't where I wanted people to like me, I didn't want to let them down, and I didn't know how to say no. Yeah, and I still I can't say no to work now. I can't. I can't. I can't I, listen, I, I could be shattered. Booked up, if a phone call rings, I'm doing the job. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do five jobs for once, <laughs> but I'm doing the job. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't like letting people down. Problem with that is, because you don't like letting people down, you're always saying yes. 
And when you're always saying, yes, you can't really do these things. You can't. Yeah, which then you end up letting them down anyway. Anyway. (laughs) Anyway. And you've got all the best intentions, but it's just not enough hours in the day. Absolutely. It's just not the right thing. You know, you're you're saying yes because you believe everything's going to fall into place. Yeah, yeah. And I've done this for years. And are you not, I'm not guessing, are you you quite organised or not really? (sighs) Um, Do you know what? Uh, Impulsive a bit. I'm not organised. I'm not organised. I'm... (laughs) I'm, I'm, nowadays, I'm, I'm not as impulsive as I, I used to be. Okay. I used to be, I used to do anything, like I'm, I, I was game, I was game for anything. What do what what you need to do? Would you, I mean, is that what we're going to do? Yeah, let's actually come in. Yeah, of course you come in. I'm going to lick it down. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to come. Let's, let's go and get ourselves in trouble. Let's, you know <laughs> what I mean? Let's go and start some trouble. And that, that, that was it from 16. So, so at 16, uh, I don't think he'd mind telling because I heard him talking about his criminal family. George Russell, funny enough, uh, one of his cousins had these dodgy credit cards. Yeah, yeah. And uh, did he talk about it? Not at all. Yeah, I mean, he dealt, he dealt yeah. into like the, the, his family yeah. having a lot of crime around. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So I'm they, sure he'd be happy. Yeah, they had these dodgy credit cards and uh, they was going out and because you swipe them, but they didn't swipe, so you had to tap the number. This is years ago. Okay. So, um, Basically, they were fronts and not backs, these cards, but they were platinum details. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> no, I got caught with sweet. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so um, they gave me them, and they'd been going out to pubs and clubs and swapping crates of champagne and pizza out and all this stuff. And I've come back one day, because they, they gave them to me on tip. Okay. I'm concerned. So I've come back one day with a moped. Hold on, is this the first type of crime you're getting into? It's the first type of crime we're getting into. So are you even, up one, at this point, are you even understanding, because you're not even like seeing cash really, are you? Well, no, but this is the thing. Yeah, are you just like, what is going on? This is the thing. So I've, I've, this is the first thing, this credit cards. And, and I think I've used my acting abilities a lot with this whole credit card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I went into this, I went into this shop, um, it just opened up in the back of Oxford, this mo- moped shop. Yeah. And I've gone in and I've convinced them to let me swipe a, a moped. Okay. I fucking, they've given me a two and a half grand moped. There you go. Boom. I know that. Look, like, right, oh, sweet, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've gone back and done them for three more. With what, the same week? Mm, same month. Cheers, by the way. Yeah, two, two, uh, two, uh, one of the socks, two, one of the socks. One of the socks. I'm going to see if you remember yeah. it. So, yeah, so, so now you're like, so I'm like no. but again, are you, because are you, are you quite, you're, you, I think you're a quick thinker at this point. I'm very good. Because you're quick. Like, so you're and starting I've been to doing doing improvisation. Improvisation. Do this again and again. Yeah, and I've been doing improvisation since I was eight at Anders. Mm. That's what we are really good at, improvisation. Mm. So I've got all these skills, this whole skill set. So I've gone in there and I've asked them um, for the moped, they've given me the first one. I've gone back and got another one. Then I've gone back and got two. And I'll give them away. I'll, I'll give one to my cousin. <laughs> I said he's going to pay me. He's two and a half grand bikes. <laughs> um, I've given one to a, a MC called Maxwell D. Yeah, Maxwell D. Yeah. yeah, so I started rolling with Maxwell when I was like 16, 17. And we had Salute. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing him soon. Mm. Um, because uh, I've rolled got Kiff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're doing it. He's doing a performance move, actually. But, um, so I'm rolling with Max Hill and these peds and all that. And I'm getting I'm getting Rothman's racing jackets and flipping. Um, I'm going for Beatles. I'm swiping like a grand's worth of stuff. I've got Monopoly off key suits. And, and I was a drum and bass MC at the time as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, adrenaline. Uh, I started off as adrenaline. Adrenaline MC, then it was adrenaline. I miss all these times. I was a bad bridge on the base MC. I used to do these under 18s for an um, for, uh, uh, outfit called Bigger Fish. Oh, okay. they're still pumping now, they're still doing under 18s. But, um, so, anyway, so I'm doing all this fraud and I'm working in JD Sports at the same time. This is the only. So how old are you at this point now? I'm 16, 17. 16, right. 16, so, 17. Uh, so, it's school just that. Like, and that just well, I've not been an option. So, so I've left school. So basically, during, all, all through school, I filmed. I took so you, you, they they say you're only allowed a certain amount of days when you're a child actor under okay. sixteen. Yeah. So I, I've I've used up all my days, which means I can't get any more parts at the moment unless they're filming in the six weeks holiday, stuff like this. So um, 
I missed a, I missed a few GCSEs. I was filming in France. Um, with John Four, who played um, Minder. John Four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, there was this project I got arrested in France. So um, for the for the fraud? No, I got arrested in France on, on a mad one. Oh, I'll after. Okay. So anyway, the fraud case, and um, this thing I want to clear up as well because Reggie Yates, you know Reggie. Yeah, Yates? yeah, yeah. Reggie Yates and Asher D done a podcast. Yes. Yeah. Right. So they done this podcast, and um, during the podcast they started talking about me because I've known them. I grew up with Reggie. Reggie's done his shows. Me and Reggie done improvisations together. Everything we, you know, we buddies in and and went to the same school as well. He came Central Foundation. So on this podcast, they're talking, and um, they're talking about Asher D went jail, I went jail, and um, I was, you know, one of the most natural, natural talented actors that he'd met or whatnot. This is what Reggie said. And then they were talking about the whole jail thing, so, and, and how I got caught, because how I got caught was really dumb, when I was 16. Okay. With the mopeds. Okay. So I've, um, I've got these mopeds, I'm riding around in them, I'm filming, with Jude Law. Okay. Jude Law in a film called Shopping and George. Me, George and Jude Law in the back of a car, what not. Um, we've gone upstairs and my mum's, uh, the chaperone said, your mum's angry and she's on the phone. Oh. I said, what the fuck? She said, Leon, the fucking police are at my ass. But are you realising that you're, obviously you know you're doing crime, but do you realise you're doing crime crime at this point? Yeah, I know, I know, I know what I'm doing is wrong. Okay. Yeah, I know what I'm doing is wrong. I, I know. I, I, you know, my fr- I've got friends and family and cousins. And I know what I'm doing. But you're not obviously not thinking consequence at this point. Not at all. At all. Not yeah. at all. This yeah. is just. I'm at it. I'm, yeah. I've got a Rothmans racing jacket and an <laughs> off-key machino suit and a Versace t-shirt. I'm nice. I've got a, I've had hair and a, a low fade and a, a, a line in the middle. I used to spray it green to go with a Monopoly outfit. <laughs> Jump Both on stage. Yeah, I was, this, listen, I was in my head. Everyone knew me. Everyone liked me. Do you know what I mean? I was. But then that feeds. Because uh, it, 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 just, it just feeds into yeah, it, man. It's, man. it's, it's the, all the ego where you're yeah, just man. like, yes, the women love me. Yeah, the the, the, the man blokes love, love me. me. Yeah, like my mum loves Obviously. me. <laughs> everyone loves me right now. I'm, the, I'm lovable. I'm the, the nothing can go wrong. Which then sometimes makes you start doing foolishness. Stupidness. Utter. Do do, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, the way I got caught, obviously they've been done for ten grand worth of mopeds. Yeah, <laughs> they've, they've been about that gap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been open a month. Yeah, it's just it's just open, and their first sale they've been done for ten grand. <laughs> salute, so <laughs> salute, salute. <laughs> so anyway, the way the cunts caught me. Sorry, <laughs> no, you can swear. Yeah, the way he's caught me now. I'd done an episode of fucking Casualty. Okay. And he's, he's sitting down, watching Casualty, and he's obviously gone, hang on, that's the cunt that's... I know this he's, 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 he's on the CCTV. He's, yeah, he's on the one that's done it. This is a game that's done us for 10 grand. So obviously... Uh, oh, the, mate, that's, yeah, cra- yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, and that's, and that's what I wanted to clear up what Reggie and Finn was talking about, because that's not the time I went to jail. That's just the time I got caught. Okay. Yeah, so they've... Um, oh, so they've put out there that, so they've just you, gone to the you, that you got... They put out there, Reggie Yates and Ashley, that you got caught... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...from and, fraud and went to jail. Went yeah, to yeah, jail. Yeah. Okay. But that was, I went to jail years later. Okay. When, when life was really messy. Okay. So, the, the, he's watched me... On, he's watched Casualty, an episode of Casualty, saw me, <laughs> really appreciated the acting. <laughs> but we needed like, to come in, son. Needed, yeah. So the police have gone to my mum's house, still in the flat, Beth, no? Um, and uh, yeah, I've got the phone call while I'm filming this film, sh- shopping, Jude Law. <laughs> George is there and everything, and I'm, I'm scared to go home. So the police are there, gone round to my house, and um, anyway, I got done. I got done for it. I got uh, 80 hours community service and uh, like a year's probation or something. But what's crazy about that is at that point, because you're not young, young. No, you know right from wrong. But when I speak to an eighteen-year-old nowadays, sometimes because some eighteen-year-olds I speak to, I'm like, "You aren't eighteen, like you're." Yeah. You see, I'm I speak, I'm speaking to an adult, mm. but then some others, I'm like, "Okay, you remind me." of I me. just stay away from youth in general now. So do I. Apart from my son. Yeah. And his uncle. Why is that? Cause I, because I. Because I don't. I don't. I don't. And I'm scared like, of the twenty odd year olds. They, you know what they're doing to each other with the machetes and that. The zombie knives and that. Listen, so, so 
quickly, when I was yeah, away, sorry, yeah, we... I, went, I went away when I was 20, when I, when I was 29 is when I done my big one. Okay. 28, 29, 27. So I let's go remember. up to before the big So before birth. that, anyway, so I'm 16. Let's, mm. let's just, let's just, I'll, I'll, I'll pan it out because this is, this is where, what happened to Leon. You know, this is what I want to talk about. I, I want to talk because people talk a lot about me and don't know me at all. Absolutely. You know what I mean? They just hear the stories from her, from this one. I beat up women, apparently. I've never touched a woman in my life. Mm. Anyway, so, um, 16, I'm doing well in this fraud game. Uh, up until I got caught. And even when I got caught, I started doing code 10 details and I got into fraud and my I had a pal that was really into fraud and I was doing bank transfers. F and, was different back then. Fraud was different, yeah. You could get away with it. You could make phone calls and, but and like, receive money back then. Like you, like even just normal kids that weren't mm. in the street at all. No. Were, were well, banging that, ACs that, Well, that's what I was doing. I was, I was getting people's ACs. Mm. Do you know what I mean? From my pal. And me and him would split, and it, it was just nice for years. And I raved a lot, and I enjoyed life a lot, and I had a moped. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was, I've always bought mopeds. And then I started nicking them with my pal Michael and Oka. Okay. So this is sort of... So, so how are you, like... How are and you... And I'm still acting. Yeah, so how are you going down this path so fast? You, because I, people, I hate to do the, because the, the, people like me. Okay. People will always gravitate towards me. My my friend Shubs Obi will tell you, and will tell anyone we meet. People will gravitate. I, I used to go raves. Honestly, I'd go in a rave, yeah, and at the end of the rave, everyone would say bye to me. Like ninety percent of the rave, I used to get drunk. That's why I don't do spirits in public. I'm bad on them. I used to get drunk. <laughs> Especially Ray and Nephew. <laughs> Devil's juice that I love. <laughs> I had an argument with her the other day. I don't know why. Something so stupid. But anyway, so people like me gravitate towards me and just want to be around me. Mm. Whether they're good people or bad people. Mm. A lot of, I was from Hoxton, I was rolling in Hoxton these times, because mm. my girlfriend, Alika, who's my baby mother, mm. my, my son's mum, um, I was with her from 16. Okay. And uh, I left my mum's, started living with her and her mum, and her little brother. And that's when it really started all, all, all the trouble. Okay. My whole life just, I, I became Hackney then. Is I, it? I loved Hackney, my family was in Hackney. So you got, obviously, you know, if you've gone back and looked at some of the other podcasts I've done, I've, yeah. I've spoke to a lot of people from, for example, Mashtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, so I know, I know a couple of the Mashtown brothers. So that whole scenario was you growing up within the Hackney and Tottenham yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, as yeah. well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and pre that, um, and after that, it's just, so uh, the whole Hackney and Tottenham thing, I, I was at Hackney Festival when I was 10, with a bunch of brothers from Tottenham, Popcorn was there. Um, so I had a friend called Mark Anthony who done Oasis with me and George. Okay. He was from Tottenham and his family of uh, Tottenham, Tottenham. So I was rolling, I was standing there with Mark and, and, and Popcorn and a few other men and, you know, I can't remember the brothers' name, but anyway, they were all Totty. I've never been involved in the whole Hackney Tottenham thing. Mm. Never been my war. Nothing to do with me, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, yeah. Been caught up in a few situations because I'm course. from Hackney. But it's not my war. Mm. Never been my war. Um, you know, I knew, I knew Mena. I knew, I knew a few guys. You know, I knew a few guys that were involved because I had um, my sister's family from Holly Street. Okay. So I used to go around there. I rave her down there a bit. You know what I mean? So, you know, I knew people. And, and then I got cousins and... I got a cousin that was massive in South London. Mm. See, that's, a, that's another thing is having these influences of of being able to easily get involved. Yeah, but I can't sit here and say, "Oh, just because um, I had, you know, I, I knew from right from wrong, I didn't start doing X, Y, yeah. Z." Yeah, it's because I, I might not have had access to these I had things. Easy access. If you've got easy access to easy. all these things. I, if someone rings me now and says, oh, I've got this, and, and yeah. oh, by the way, oh, yeah. oh, how do I know yeah. now, Big 30, that I might get influenced? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, no, for real, for but real. But I don't have, you know, I mean, I don't have many people yeah. that have these links to, to I don't have it no more, worlds. but I used to, so like, it's this whole flipping gravitating people, 
So, you know, like, I know, I knew everyone. I just knew everyone. So I knew a guy who grabs it and I knew a guy who lets it go. And I knew a guy who wants this, I knew a guy who, who's got that. I, knew, I just knew you everyone. You knew every connection to every yeah. end of how to make the dollar. So were yeah. you, were you a money, money man? Or were you, uh, you loved, you loved the life in general? I like the fact that everyone likes me. And I want to do things for people. But it's all to my own detriment. Okay. Which took me a long time to work out. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Because you knew you had a good art. Yeah, I've always, listen, anyone who knows me, I've had guys that are looking for me now probably, yeah? That will probably say, yeah, Leon's da 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 Black's is da 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 you know what, Black's a good brother, you know. Like, Black, yeah, overall, Black's, he's, he's, he's done a lot of bad things to me and bad things to people and all these things, but, but Black's a good brother. You know what I mean? I've, I've always, my, the core of me is a good person. Okay. Do you know, I get, I get, I've, I've been in situations, <clears throat> I've done questionable things, I've done bad things. It's not, you know, I didn't know anything, I've done, I've done terrible, horrible things. Do you know? Um, a lot of drugs which was involved when I was doing a lot of horrible, terrible things, though. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But I, I mean, if you don't want yeah, to go no, into we'll, it... We'll go into that. I don't... Listen, my, it's done. People go through it. You get stronger through things. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? Definitely. But, um, but and yeah. Is it, and is this when you were young, younger or... I think... As I think, you started getting more... As I, I started getting more... Well. Yeah, and that as well. And so... so I've all, I'm, I'm also balancing all this with, with auditions and acting. Do you know what I mean? Like, from 16 to 18... that was an know, unbelievable role. With the that bullet. you did in Bullet Boy. Yeah, yeah, Bullet, bullet Without bullet a doubt. the end of it and the beginning of, 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 of my downfall. That's, that, that was sort of, I, you know, it was the, the highlight of my career, maybe, but then also my whole downfall. Like the, the attention was probably The attention was too much. Too much, you. overwhelming. I hate, people hate, people who used to love me hate me now, for no reason. Yeah. I'm not showing them nothing different, but then... In, what I love is that in general, Hackney, the people who know me and whatnot, listen, I walk through Hackney, I rarely walk. I'm always driving, I rarely walk. Whenever I do walk through Hackney, I will always get cars stopping. I always hear my name shouted out. And I'm talking, I'll walk 10 metres. Blacks, what I've won. You know what I mean? Like, nah. And these are people I do not remember who they are. I remember faces, I'm very good with faces. Yeah, yeah. But I don't remember your name. So I call everyone D or B. Go, what one D? What one B? I said, what one B is easy, isn't it? What one B? Where, brother? You're right. You get me? <laughs> it's sweet. And then everyone knows by name. There's a lot of Dwayne's, you know what I mean? So everyone's <laughs> D. But, um, and I've rolled with some, I've rolled with some guys that are, you know, they're known in Hackney. Mm. Proper known, and you know what I mean? And they've given me things and I've... But then how does, how does someone being from the road, how do... The, the people that are alongside you in that world feel about the acting? How do they feel? Do you know feel? what? Very supportive. Okay. Even, even to, no, listen, that's the one thing, yeah, that I will always say about the people that know me in Hackney and, and, and other people in Bethnal and everything. The first thing when I ain't seen someone in ages, the first thing they say is, wow, what's happening? And they're happy to see me. What, no more acting? First thing they say, when, you, when you're acting next, what are you doing in next? Because what, what people failed to realise is that I was the first young black actor of our generation. There was no one before me. Yeah, none. It's, it's, it's a, I'd like to say it's a fact. I'm sure it's a fact. I'm sure it's a fact that my generation, there was no other black brother on TV my age. I think closest to my age was probably Idris. Okay. And I've done black and blue with Idris. Years, I was... 11. So again, when you're getting these, these um, auditions and yeah. roles and getting them, yeah. like, it, do you have anyone telling you how big this is? I, I felt it from the people that, from, from, from the people in my ends, I felt it because it's special to them and it's special to them now. People will say, it, this is my bridge in Leon. People in Bethany will always say he was in Desmond's because that's when I was around them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
people from Hackney will always say, well, I remember this Martin Lawrence. And I say, Stephen. Oh, yeah, Stephen Lawrence. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, I remember that film, Top Boy. Bullet Boy. Oh, yeah, Bullet Boy. Do you get what I'm saying? But they will always, they will always love me for it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. I, I respect that. And even, these are some of the people I've that, done, that I've done character, mm. it, it, it <clears throat> honestly, again, I, I, can't, I can only speak for myself, but it, it showed so much of the youth. It's such a good what film. What can man. happen. Yeah, like it's a really good And your film. character, t- to be wary mm. of your character, mm. because it was... It's the, that's that whole influence. It was the, and your, your personality and everything yeah. shone mm. in that. It, mm. sh- it showed... That, again, you showed the people love you because yeah. you had that attitude in that. You had that yeah, vibrant yeah, that whole, personality. That thing, yeah. You were you were bossy. You you were quick speak. You mm. were a quick speaker. You, yeah. you you you. But but the whole I right, come man, come help me. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. My, you're, you're my friend. Come yeah, hold yeah. my and team. That's that's what it is. All of those. But it's crazy because you was going through them things at the time. Well, this is what's the maddest so, thing ex- about it. Explain yeah, that. This, so so. So the maddest thing about it is that I'm fully on road these times, like fully. I'm, I, I, I'm selling drugs, I'm, I'm, I'm bunning weed, I'm drinking, I'm raving, I'm, 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 I'm sorting this for him, I'm getting that for that one. I'm, I'm doing the maddest thing and I'm blowing everything on the weekend. I'm not, I'm just spending. And then I've got acting money coming so I can buy big bits of this and I can give it away. <laughs> it's all mad. But, um... But yeah, and at the same time, I'm going on auditions and I'm getting them. I'm talking like, I stopped getting auditions when I was about maybe 20, 24, 22. Like, I, I get nine out of 10 of my auditions because I'm good at my job. I'm good at acting. I was trained to act from absolutely from young. I trained. I didn't just try to act, which is why nowadays I'm, there's not a lot of stuff I like. Because there's a lot of chances that the internet, there's this and that. There's so Everyone's much that can, and di- that can expose you, you and saying? push you into a world like yourself. But yeah. you have to actually, where you sit back and realise how hard you had to work and be yeah. naturally talented and yeah. work at your craft. And now, there's so much. And it's, you know what? There's a lot of bad stuff as well. A lot. And a lot of the bad stuff is deemed as good because yeah. it's, it's just the best of the bad, though. Do you know what I mean? And um, it's a shame. It's a shame. But when I say I train... I acted two times a week, four hours each session, got honing my skills, diction, eye contact, projection. Do you know what I mean? These type of things that we're, we're learning and Anna's teaching us and she's pulling you up if you're not doing good. And she's praising you when you do well. And these type of things. So I'm still, you know, I was on road when I done, I was on road when I done Bullet. I got like 18 grand check one time for like just to, for the filming or the, the signing or something like that and I was like Raw, 18 bags and I'm like 20 yeah <laughs> are you and, and again obviously you're on the road so you're seeing different ba- yeah, big seeing bags it. of money yeah anyway. already did that not hit you of what potentially you could do with this no and I wish I had all that money now all the money I've made if I could make it all back now I'd be, I'd, I'd, I'd. Well, if someone gave you 18, just today. 18 like, bags. I'd, would you, you would treat that so different. 18, I'd, 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 yeah, it's so different. But I've got, I've got. It wouldn't last. About it. They anyway, wouldn't, especially living in London it, anyway. It, you know what, it wouldn't last. And it's, it, you know, it's not, it's, it's, you get older and you realise it's not all the money in the world. But, but there's all, there's, but again, there's more but information I'm, now. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. There's more access yeah, to information yeah. to see what can I do with this dough. Yeah, yeah, Than yeah. just having to go outside on the block well, yeah, and no, bring you. You're your, right, you're you right. Know. There's more option now as well. Yeah. Back then, I just thought, buy a car, get a little chaps, get a chain, get my hair cut, new right. outfit from Bobitos, go raving, and buy some weed. So I bought, like, I think, that, I think I thought that, no, it was off my London's burning money. I started buying boxes of weed. Mm. And they were cheap then. I was 18. They were like, How much were they back then? 35. 30. Okay. Yeah, you get a box for 28. So, okay, so when you were doing your probation and everything for the fraud, fraud yeah. What was the transition into higher crime? Because all right, so when what I, when happened I, to lead up to the big? I stopped bird? the fraud, and then um, well, the big bird sort of 
later on in life. But um, after that, I just started, you know, I was just shot in. I shot in for a guy. Um, he's paying me something like 70 quid a day or whatever. That was just stupid. I don't know what I was doing. It was just ridiculous. Mm. But then what did you, that, for example, did your mum know what you was doing? Well, was she not I sure? Th- or? Uh, man, me, that's, uh, me and my, that's a whole podcast. Me and mum. Um, Trust me, I'm the same. Yeah, mum's been through mom. it, man. Yeah. She's, and she's still my biggest supporter, you know? My mum loves me. My mum loves me behind, you know, to everyone else, my mum loves me. Behind closed doors, I get cussed or whatever. But my mum loves me and she's always proud of me. So when I, when I, when I do, was doing these crimes and, and when she'd find things and all that, it, it would break her. And I moved, that's, I moved that, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, we're talking from 16 to sort of 20 was just, just fraud and skunk, a bit of shot in here and there. And, um, and acting, that was, that was my life. You know? Did you have an end goal with any of no, it at the time? No, I didn't have... I had a dream when I was about 16, 18, yeah? Remember, I was an MC, I was rapping, I was acting. So I had this dream that I was walking down this sort of black purple road. Yeah. With all these black signs. Uh, one would say Leon Black is coming. One would say Drenadi is coming, which is my drum and bass name. One would say Python's coming, which is my rap name. And uh, the science just went on. So I think from that day forward, I just thought, you're, you're, you're coming. You're going to be successful at something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just not, you're just not, you haven't got a straightforward path. Yeah, I just never knew at what. And I still, you know, I still don't 100% know what it is, but I'm doing good now mm. and good things are happening. So when, when, when you started experiencing problems after Bullet Boy, right, so how, what was your relationship with Ashley Waters like at that point? I know, me, at that point, me and Ashley's cool. Like, I, I mean, I phoned Ashley up the other day. We had a brief conversation. We're not, we've never been best friends or nothing. We've never been friends. Yeah, yeah. But um, we've always had a, a good working relationship. We've always had joke on set. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But um, after filming, that's it. I don't, I don't stay in touch. He's okay. in South London, I'm East London. Do you, the um, next, next project. Because obviously, when you're when you've got something that big, people sort of just play together. They they, they think, are you not just still just chilling together? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah no, every day. You, you wouldn't. You, so you know. are you, you know, just shocked to see where his career is just shot to? Right. So obviously, I'm like I, I I bear no ill will. I know what I had done with my life, and I feel positive about my life now. Yeah, but there was a there was a time when um. And it was after Bullet Boy that I, I, I used to think, like, hang on, like, this whole thing was geared for Ashley. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you might have felt like this, this whole thing was to propel him. Yeah, and do you know what? what I believe is, so. As and, well. and I believe Personally. so, yeah. And I, I've got no problem with this, because I know that in the UK they concentrate on one black boy per season. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's cool. And um, I've, I've never, I've never um, had a problem with Ashley for that. I will always celebrate, like I don't like a lot of people in the industry now, but I celebrate their work rate. Yeah, yeah, which will, you can will, take yeah, apart from yeah. them being actually a, a person. Yeah, like there's a lot of people out in this industry now that I just think, I just think you're crap. I don't think you're good at all. I don't think you've got talent. But you're somewhere. You're, you've, you've propelled yourself and put yourself in a position where you're making money, you're doing well, everyone knows you. And, and I rate that. I rate what you've done, the work, because... I always had people doing things for me. And I've struggled with this because mm. growing up, you've got your agent. You get, they tell you where the audition is, your chaperone takes you. You do what the people want you to do, you get the part. Then they pick you up in a car, then they take you to the work, then you do what your performance, then you come. It's all done for you. Do you know what I mean? Nowadays, people have to do the work themselves. Yeah. And that was a very And hard they can do that from their own... Well, this, this, this is, is a, a big there example. You go. Exactly. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I went jail the the month before the iPad came out. Okay. I went jail for um, the first time. I went jail was in 2005. Okay. Where did you stay? Which was two years after Bullet Boy. So two years. Two years after after Bullet Boy came out. Mm. We filmed it at 21. It came out when I was 23. I actually got arrested at 23 and didn't go to jail till 25. And that was for possession with intent to supply. 
Okay. Because a friend of mine wanted to set up a country line uh, and he didn't know how to and he asked me and because I can talk to people, it was just easy for me. So was it anyway, a conspiracy? Yeah, no, I got caught. I got caught. Um, I was crappy. I got caught. Okay. Whatever. So what was that experience like? Because you, you had been in probation and... Uh, yeah, so before. I'd never been jailed. I'd never been jailed before. And that's what I wanted to hear about what Ashley and Reggie was talking about. They thought I went to jail for this fraud thing, but I didn't. And I went to jail after Ashley as well. I went to jail after Bullet Boy. And this time I wasn't... After Bullet Boy, I was offered so many roles. Just shit. Just the same. And it's not acting if I'm going to be wisdom every... Every time. Yeah. Do you know, I was the first guy to shoot a gun at the police in the bill. Or yeah. shoot a gun in the bill, I think. I was part of the blue bandana gang or something. Oh, right. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, these are the type of roles that were coming up. And when I was younger, my mum used to say to me, no, Leon, you're not doing that part. Yeah, why? Like, why am I more that? No, Leon, you're not doing that part. And I never understood. Yeah, of course. But now when you look back, it's like, back, yeah. that's what they think we are. Yeah, and that's it. Tokens and, and and so so what they do in England they they will write a part for a black person they will say right we need a he's from this area boom, boom, boom. He, that, that's what, and that's their ten percent do you get what I'm saying so going back to what we were saying about Ashley and for him being propelled that's what started me turning against the industry okay rather than turn against Ashley like oh why is he getting it yeah 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 it's his you got there was a bigger that. picture yeah you got to celebrate that that's his. You, any 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 brother that jumps off, you got to celebrate it. Absolutely. Like I said just now, like, there's a lot of guys I don't rate them, but I celebrate their, their movement. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I would never disrespect that. So that turned me again in, against the industry. And then I got offered a load of these roles and I said, that's it, I'm done. I'm done with, I'm done with acting. I don't want to do it. All these people in the ends know me. I can't walk nowhere. I can't... I get in problems because he recognises me and, and he thinks, I, I, <laughs> he thinks he saw me in jail, one fella. One fella thought he saw me in jail before and he said, I remember the scar on your neck. I was like, well, dude, I, I've never been in jail. And so you, how do you remember this? You just see me on TV and don't remember. Do you get what do you I'm saying? you know what? That's the dark side of it, man. And that's You what don't even like, for and people I'm, out there that want to be famous, like, yeah. that must be crazy. And, and I've always been... Not famous. I've just been recognisable, okay. memorable. Which you is me? which is kind of scary, yeah. because it's blurred yeah. into, People don't into know. your mind. Where like, yeah, who are you again? And then what? they're going through their head. Because I, I would like to know if I've had, if 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 I've done that to someone before. Mm. That that's like kind of famous. Like, yeah, oh, I saw no, the TV when I was young. I thought I know this yeah, person. A lot of people. I'm unaware, they're unaware that they've grown up with me and because so, they're my age and they've seen me in all the programs growing up you know what I mean so, so Leon I know it's, it, this this section might be quite hard yeah go on I'm but we're gonna we're, we're gonna unpack it so are you able to speak about so you, you had a, a very long time behind the door are yeah. you able to say how so, long etc so 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 this is what happened so so at 20. For 23, they sent me away. I got four years due to possession with intent to supply. Um, that two years was, you know, everyone knew me in jail as well. That was the thing. Uh, my whole nickname was Bullet Boy. Everyone just knew me, uh, you know. Uh, Did that make it harder or? Uh, no, no, not at all. Listen, I'm a joy in jail. People will tell you, yeah. Um, and I think I helped a lot of guys get through their sentence. You know, really, I was just trying to get through mine. I was doing two, two years out of four years. And um, I got through that, unscathed and whatnot. And then I come out, I didn't really know what the fuck to do. To do. I'm not acting no more. Got to get a job, I suppose. Mm. But why wasn't you acting anymore? I just just I, because you just was, come back yeah, and, and I, had no and contacts. And you know what? And... Anytime I do something wrong, I'm always in the news of the world or Daily Mirror. Daily Mirror used to always target me. So, when I played Stephen Lawrence, uh, after that I got stabbed in a racial attack, funny enough. In real life? In real life, right. yeah. The first time I got stabbed. And then, um, pardon me, and that was right outside drama class as well. Right. How old was you when this happened? I was maybe 18. Wow. I think I was about 18, yeah, because I was filming London's Burning. I, I had the weekend off, funny enough, and I went back to filming on a Monday. But then The Guardian wrote about that, and then um, when I was done the fraud, 
News of the World, when I got arrested for this one, Daily Mirror. Because the police, the police give them the information. So I didn't want to be in, in any form of limelight again. Of course, yeah. I just thought, everyone knows my business, fucking hell, did I do it? But now I've become a person that, I've come out of jail, 2009. Um, I'm li living in a different area. I've, I've got a different set of friends. You know what I mean? It's just, just all different for me. Um, I just wanted to hide, hide away. Just hide away from everyone. And did you sort of know that maybe if, if I... And again, you're not, you don't even really have social media at this point, really. No, there's no, so, there's no, there's no touch phones in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, so, no. so I had Facebook. But again, that shows you that how... On because everyone, everyone didn't have touch phones and no, they stuff like that. They how no. powerful this film was Just, at the time because... Yeah. I mean, if you got to think so many more eyes are on less. Mm. You can, it. mate. I can. You can miss. You, you can, you miss, can it, miss. Yeah. Car Cardi B will be not Cardi B next year. And yeah. and if I if I wasn't really looking at my phone for a few years, you I wouldn't even know Cardi B is exactly. Who's and like that's that's the exactly biggest it. artist in the world. Exactly. One, you get one me. Of. And there's a lot of fans. And that is how fast yeah. stuff comes and goes now. That's so it. so yours must have been a hard linger as well. Yeah, 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 everyone, because it was still, this is the, this is social media. Because just way. like Pete, right? So, yeah. Pete wins Big Brother. Yep. I mean, just his Tourette's alone yeah. and what he looks like. Yeah. That's all people need uh, yeah. for years. Years, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's a minute. And now he said, obviously, from what's happened mm. to Nikki, God bless her soul, yeah. he goes, it's even worse again. Yeah. So, and I, and I asked him, do you notice when people are recognising you more or less? He goes, yeah. yeah, man. He goes, I, there's times when it can be really low. Yeah. And so, but so, for you, has yours still lingered? I still get, yeah, people, uh, listen, people, when do they, they hear me talk. less or more or like, no, did, does it go in waves? This is the thing, and I, I'm, not, I'm not big at it about this at all, but the film we made was iconic. Absolutely. They showed it in schools, colleges, universities. Everywhere, everywhere. Everyone's seen schools this Schools, yeah. everywhere. So, and my character... In our school as well. Yeah, if you hear my voice, if you was on a bus and I, I started speaking, you'd hear my voice. He said, I know that voice. Like, I know that voice. Who's that brother? I know him, I know him, I swear. Because it's memorable. And that's, that's, that's one gift I'm happy I've got. I will always stick in people's memory. And it, it hurts me if I think an ex don't remember me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so that's my own problem. But, um, but we made an iconic film at the end of the day. Mm. And it's legendary, so I'll always have that if I have nothing. So then how are you dealing with prison? As, so as in the vibrant personality that you have, how are you I dealing with that? I took it in there, man. Yeah, no, straight up, I took it in there. My first, my first sentence, um, I kind of coasted through. I got my DCAT in six months. So I was in an open jail within six months. I've done that for eight months, got kicked out of there because I was, uh, I've always hustled something. I'm stupid. I don't know why I didn't stop earlier. Well, I'm guessing out of boredom as just well. Out of, just out of the same thing. People, it's the energy. People, be, <laughs> it's always a gift. Hey, yo, person. Leon, I know you yeah, got... Yeah, Lee, what are you saying? You're yeah, come on, man. And, and, then, and yeah. then immediately you're like, you know, I like this That's guy. Thing, and I'm game as fuck. I'm game. I'll tell you on my next sentence how game I am. So, anyway, we've done that. I got kicked out. I got another DK. I had a couple. I've, I've, I've done the two years. And are you always sharing cells at this point? I'm single. I'm a long termer. Single. Anything over four years, you was a long termer. So, how family. long in total did you have to do? On my first one, I've done two out of four. So, I've done, I've done two seven to two nine. Yeah, 2007 to 2009. So, I got arrested in 2005, which is just after Bulletworth Airline. Um, so I've done two seven to two nine, and then um, and then I come out lost. Got bang on it. It was uh, mixed with some, uh, and I'm not gonna say that because my Cody, me and him built something between us that we both dragged each other down. What are you talking about, shovel? Yeah, we just went, you know, crazy. We had these white boys up in Essex sending us in houses, <laughs> cash machines. Gyal. We had gyal. <laughs> we had answers. We had, for fun. Not answers to sell, to break. Answers for fun. And it was messy. 
And we was doing a string of armed robberies. We done. We ended up doing. We done a, a six month crime spree, throughout the whole of East London, because we wanted a grand a day. We needed to spend a grand a day. But but it was what, what I'm finding so crazy is the amount and and I'm, what I'm trying to tap into mm. is for the youth maybe watching. Yeah. Is how does one you know so talented, so vibrant. I was just lost. Just go right. Yeah, I was just lost. I, I just, do you know what? I think, I think, um, if I think about it, I think I did go through a phase, especially when I come out of 2009, of, um, of sort of, well, you're nothing now. You, you, you're a nobody now. Okay. You, you, but then were not... you scared of people recognising you again? There's a lot of balaclavas, a lot of t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, a lot of, uh, oh, mate, a lot of, his stockings and so when, when okay so the crime obviously is gradually changing yeah. because you're now going to prison and, and you're also meeting yeah, other criminals. even more criminals yeah, to do yeah. more criminal activity yeah 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 because that's what it is in there man this is, where, this is where people link up and I've always thought it's dumb that if I'm a drug dealer and you're a drug dealer and we're both in jail why would we decide to sell drugs together yeah. that's a bit stupid isn't it we both got caught for selling drugs but now we're going to try and do it together. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, I yeah. think it's stupid. But anyway, so so yeah, I met a lot of people in there and um, met a lot of good friends, people I talk to now as it goes, mm. because because it is what it is. But I went on this six month crime spree with my co D, who's who, who, I, it weren't his fault, you know. But just the circumstance we was in and the the things we were doing at the time, um, and the energy we had between each other, we were game. Like, it, and was it always working? It was always working. It was always... Listen, we, we, we got it down to... I mean, we was doing like two a day sometimes. Allegedly? Allegedly. Oh, I've, I've been down for it. OK, OK. That's fine. Yeah, I've, got, I've done five years on this one. So we got caught eventually. And just to clarify, so you had done two years... I'd done before, two years. Then the next five. Months, I came out 15 months. During that 15 months, went on a six-month crime spree with my pal. And we got caught because we wouldn't stop ourselves. And I believe in the universe. I believe if you don't make the right decision, the universe will make the right decision for yes. you. And it will be harsh. And how was that though? Like, what was you? Would you just say that because you was you was getting on it and just you, you was lost? Hmm. Is that what kept you doing the arm robberies? Or was that and the way because you had the links it, as well. No, and, yeah, there was, there was you know there was pressure from the Essex boys. Not pressure, but like like physical like pressure, pressure. Just like yeah, when you two coming up, we got this for you, we got that for you. And you're kind of thinking, what else have I got? Yeah, Do you know, and, and 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 this is and we're getting good at it as well. We're we're bringing our robbery times down to <laughs> sort of one minute in an ads. That's we're, crazy. Do you know what I mean? We're getting good at it, and and it got to a point where. You know, he just phoned me up like, what are you on? I said, no, what are you on? He goes, oh, do you want to go and do one? Just quickly bring the bag. Do you know what I mean? There was a time when I had the bag in my ass. We used to have this bag and it had everything in it. There was a time I had the bag in my ass and um, uh, some brothers phoned me up. I think it was man then phoned me up and said, do I want to go raving? I said, oh, right, I'm broke. He said, let me go to the top of Mum's Road. <laughs> I was at Mum's. And I thought, let me go to the top of Mum's Road. And I'd done a place at the top of Mum's Road and just... Literally run down the road and run back to my mum's. He said, yeah, I'm coming raving, let's go. Do you know what I mean? It was just easy. It gets to a point where this is it. You just go through the motions. You're just, you're just doing it. And, and by this point, obviously, I, I don't want to touch too much into like, the scar and stuff yeah. that you have on your neck and stuff like that, but had you ever, had you ever been touched by this point? By either police or anyone on the road, had you? Oh no! Of yeah, course, you had, you had been stabbed. I've been stabbed a couple of times. Uh, yeah. But, so stabbed. had you? Like, and I know you said it was a racial attack, right? So mm. had you dealt with the consequences of actually doing crime and getting touched by that point? By 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 brothers or police? Both. Well, by police, I'd, I'd already done the two years. So yeah, they, sorry, yes. Yeah. And I'd always listen. I've been getting arrested. Fucking years. I don't. I, 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 I spent bare nights in Stokey. Sometimes I walk into my bedrooms there. Yo, one one. <laughs> yeah, fam. They, they got me. Like they got me too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I, I've left Stokey and, and seen my boy Michael Knocker. I love him. He's a 
one of my boys for life, man. And uh, I, I remember seeing him in the, in the jumpsuit. You know what I mean? When I got released, and uh, uh, Stokey loves us, man. But um, yeah, man, problems. I've, uh, so many wars, there's so many podcasts. You know what I mean? There, there's Definitely, so, man. So many wars. Your story is, 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 you know, it's, 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 there's so much depth yeah, to it. Yeah, there's so much, man. And so... But the five years. Yeah. So listen, we've been done. Yeah. Me and my Cody got caught. And, and honestly, the first time we saw each other, we both looked at him. We spoke about this um, afterwards. We both looked at each other with, with relief. That is over. Okay, we're done. We're done. Thank God we can stop. Because we weren't going to stop. But we were tired. Every day we're tired. You knackered, knackered, like just what from like just everything, the adrenaline, the just everything. Like we, the robberies weren't even the last. You guys the, going out all the time, and you're, you must oh, be living no, a very, a, a very fast, heavy lifestyle. It's crazy, you, but, but what was, size were you at this point? No, this time I'm I'm not even big. I, I only got big when I come out of jail. Right. Yeah. I, I've I've always been. I was always a slim breader. I was always a skinny breader, but. It's not about that. It's what you got in your hand and how you talk to people. Do you know what I mean? And I mean, we done. We walked in with water pistols and cap. <laughs> Listen, I remember one time my Cody's walked in here yeah, with this plastic thing. Yeah. He's still got the red thing, you know, at the, at the front. But he's cocked it back about fifty times. Yeah, and people are just scared. They're just scared. They don't know if you cook it back that many times. You've got to let, they don't get it. So they're just scared. Yeah. You know? And, 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 and we, you know, you just flip and go for it, man. And it's just easy at this point. So at this point, in terms of security, mm. what security do these places have at this point? Do they have like, the, you know, was the, this? Ink, this was, um, the ink, you know, like the boxes, are the ink oh, yeah. on them? Oh, right. So, like, so no, so... Fake money. Yeah, we wouldn't, you wouldn't do ink. You, wouldn't, you know, people who do. We done pinky inkies once. We called it the pinky inky. But you don't. You don't do it. You do. You do the fill up. So when they, when they go in, open that grey door. You get in that grey door with them, and then that's the fill up. So that's that's that my code is. Right. Yeah. So you do the, the, when they fill up. So they they might do a dummy run first. Just take an empty box to the. To the door, cut, wait in the room for a little while, come out, and then they bring the money in. You're talking 20 grand a tray. Okay, okay, yeah, do you yeah. You know what I mean? And sometimes they do like two, three. So, how are you getting caught with this? Because I had loons, big up loons. And oh, you had loons? Yeah, I had loons on there. Yeah. And loons don't know. Uh, Bank robber are... two. Yeah, is it loons don't And he got run? caught because he put his. He got caught with a fingerprint behind the back of a safe. For example, one time. Uh, is that what Watch this episode on, on here. It's, yeah, it's I will one, do. I one will of do. my biggest episodes on here. I just started, I just messaged him the other day actually. So Loons, quickly, Loons is someone who I haven't had much interaction with throughout my life. But every time we have had an interaction, it's been interesting. Okay. So, yeah, so um, just, just, just putting that out. I, I, I messaged him the other day about an idea and uh, he messaged back. So. I mean, he, his personality, your personality, mm. I think this is what we need to start maybe getting out there yeah. to people that, you know, I, I really believe that people just think anyone with a criminal record yeah. should just be... Nah, man, listen. And these people are... And, and, and that people that have had past like yourselves yeah. are painted a certain way and they're yeah. like this and they want to kill people and they yeah. want to... And I just... I just feel that us as a society, we yeah. can't, we can't just. Well, it's totally wrong. It's just ba- it's, wipe our hands yeah, off no, you people. No, can't, you can't. You can't. Except that. for fu- pedophiles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man who hits women. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what we're talking about. Yeah. I haven't got to say which ones we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Them ones fit dead. Yeah. All them ones. Yeah. But there's a lot of others that come on. Listen, you make mistakes, you do bad things, but you know what? It's like you grow up, you get older. You, you accept all the badness you've done and you've collected your karma, hopefully. That's why if something bad or bad goes wrong now, what the fuck have I done? Who have I upset? Yeah, why am I doing no one. it? Yeah, what have I what's done? Going, what's, what, why is this light not working? But the hard thing for the life that you've had is you're going to sometimes continuously have the past dwelling back. Unfortunately. I've, I've, I've collected my karma now, man. I've got, 
I've, I've had it all. You seem at peace like, now, though. Yeah, yeah, because I, I skim now. I just skim. I've got my own little company. It's just me. I plaster. My pals ring me up to plaster with them, and I'm I'm all right. I've I've just I've just finished filming my first ever short that I've written, directed, funded, and all that, and I'm I'm over the moon. Mate, you sh- and you should be. Yeah. So listen, right, I'm going to go toilet. Yeah. And we're going to we're yeah, going to no, do sweet, our yeah. last bit of our wrap up. Oh, yeah, we'll Finally, lastly, yeah. before we wrap up. So um so yeah, so in all in all, how many how many years did you do in the end then? I've done two and f- I've done I, so so off of the back of the two, I was still on probation for f- two years. Uh, I went to jail within that time, so I had to finish off my license time, which was eight months. Okay. So I've done four or eight on that one. Mm. So so you're talking just under seven years. But some of your personality, how are you dealing with like probation and jail? They and love me. <laughs> Proba- Listen. How are you dealing with it? Do you, do you, do you, do you get bored? Just... Do you suffer? Oh, yeah. No, but I write in my head. Like, I'm always... always and, 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 you know, free flow and all that, that's my time to, to chat to a man and... And, and bring, do you know what, honestly, some of the guys that I see when they come out of jail, they always stop and want to talk to me for a little while. Mm. Because I know that, I know I made certain man's sentence. You know, I'm on, the wing with, I'm on the wing with guys for two years. These are my friends. These are guys, you, you got to think about it. Your best friend, do you see in 365 days in a year? No. Do you get what I'm saying? I spend 365 days for, times two with some guys. So what is the feeling when you come out? What is that like? Okay, so this is the, this is this was the thing. It's the period I went away. I went away the month before the iPod come out, the iPad came out. So I never. I, I think I think that the Apple iPhone one was out because my Cody got one and lost it. But I'd never seen one. I'd never seen a smartphone. Never seen a touch screen. Nothing. When I was out, I think there was either BlackBerry Rollable. Pardon me. So obviously, I've gone in at this whole technological boost. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, crazy boost. Yeah, crazy boost. Done crazy, just, actually. Done just under five years. <laughs> and I didn't see a smartphone until my last month. So what's that? Because you have to understand someone on the outside of jail. Yeah, they, no, they, they You think, them. like... I think people's the perception is, like, some people get a phone sometimes. Yeah. Like, TV and... Yeah. So for your... What was that... What, did you did you have a phone? Did you have a TV? I, 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 yeah, you have your TV. I had my PS2. They wouldn't let me have my Xbox. I had every DVD. So my whole hustle in, in jail was all DVDs, computer games. So you're a cool. film man like me. I, yeah. film, man. I love films. I love Mate, I watch them all. I watch them all. I, I watch film, 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 film. I love films, man. That's it. And um, so that was my whole thing. DVDs, man would come to my cell and I cooked. I love cooking. I love food. Oh, nice. I love the food I love. So do you actually cook inside your own cell? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Was, oh, so what, you have a cooker inside? So. <laughs> no, you don't have a cooker. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a you square have a, mate. You, you have a mean? basin. You've got uh, you've got a basin, some tweezers, a PS2 lead, and you put the tweezers. You break the tweezers up, and that takes ages. And you put the tweezers inside the PS2, you know the two round circle things, and you put that in the basin with water, and you put another little tub in there with your food. And that's and then you wrap it all up in like a big plastic bag. Okay. Tie it up and you let that steam out and cook your food. Right. So I'd, I I I had a link um, who worked in the kitchens, and um, I'd give him like half ounce of burn. He'd give me like four or no, I think eight pieces of chicken. Yeah. For half ounce of burn. Right. Okay. So that eight pieces is sixteen pieces because you cut the leg and the fat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so do you, have you seen, like, the James English podcast, for example? No, I don't, I don't watch it. I, I'm, I'm so out of touch. Bro. Okay, because what I was going to say, on your time away, have you ever seen any of the members that were on? Oh, hang on. Is he the guy who talks to all the gangsters? Yes. Tony Argent. Okay. I spent a long time with Tony Argent. He's a proper good fella. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Tony Argent. I see, I see his one come out the other day. Yes, yeah. Yeah, because he, he, he done life, you know. He done a life sentence. Yeah, um, yeah. And my uncle is a life. My uncle was a lifer. Okay. My uncle done thirty three years. And is he out? Now? Yeah, he's out now. He's he's doing well. He's been out for the um, same time I come out on my last one. So I done another six months the other day, a couple couple years ago. But my uncle come out at the same time. Right. right okay. Before me. And what did you go in for again? Oh, this was this was a, a girl. I've never hit a woman. I swear on my life. But I thought I'd play smart and go guilty because I was still on license. 
And I thought, if I get the 28 days, I'll just do the 28 days and come out. I don't care about my record. All right, so basically, if you if you say you're not guilty, they have to try it. If I say it, I'm not guilty, I'll have to it, wait it, and go and to trial. Can't. And then if I, okay, okay. There was all that, and I just thought, I just want to get out of jail. I don't want to be in jail. So I thought, just fucking go guilty, 28 days. I just, no, man, I just done five years. That's light work. You get what I'm saying? Um, I ended up getting 10 weeks instead of eight, which means I'm over the 28 days, which means I had to finish off the rest of my six month license. Right. So I ended up doing six months in, um, in scrubs. Okay. It's a shithole. But. Was that the worst one you've been but, in? But, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. But Clarky. No Clark. No, no. Oh, Cl- sorry. Clarky, so this fella, yeah, who, um, his name's Clark. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was in there with him. So what, so what the guy... Who, who plays... Um, what's his name? I can't remember the name in it. So wait, the guy's dog you shot? Yeah, yeah, the guy's dog I shot. You was in prison with him? Yeah, I was in, but, yeah, I was in prison with him. But <laughs> even, even on my first sentence... He Where's was he in, from then? He's, Jamaican, he's from West London. Right? No, he's just got a strong accent. Strong accent? Yeah, but he's from, um, he's from North West, I think, I believe. Yeah, North West. And um, so I was in there with him. And what's funny is that he, that's his manner. Scrubs. Scrubs is his local. My local's real, isn't it? Okay. So he's local Scrubs. So everyone in that ends knows him and they call him Bullet. Hey, imagine seeing you two just in prison yeah. together. So, so everyone's Man, calling him man. Bullet, yeah? So every time Bullet, because that's what everyone calls me. Throughout my whole sentence, I'm Bullet. Boy, Bullet. You get me? Or Blacks or whatever. So every time we're in jail together now and every time someone shouts out Bullet, we're both looking up. Because I'm thinking, but I've got to remember it's not my jail. And, um, and what's funny about that is that people didn't even realise it was me from Bullet Boy. Mm. It was a bigger part than Clarky, but that's yeah, his yeah. Name. yeah, but he's known on them. Anyways. But his voice, again, and what Yeah, he, Godfrey, Godfrey, that's It's crazy, name. like, all the, the faces yeah. in, in that particular um, mm. film just, just stuck out forever. Mm. It was really good, that. Um, everything about that whole production was done really well. Like, really well. That must have been crazy for you to watch back. I watched it the other day. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to watch it again because I watched yeah. it during quarantine yeah, last yeah, year because yeah. it's on YouTube now. I don't know if it's illegal or not, but yeah, I think it's yeah, got nearly yeah. a million views. Yeah, it's there. on YouTube now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like. Listen, if you go on the list of whatnot, it's still the best UK urban film, isn't it? Black British Absolutely, film. Absolutely, man. It's still the best Black British film. And that's because it was written well, directed well, and there was actors. Nowadays, everyone's a chancer. Not everyone. I, I not actually everyone. feel the whole industry is is at its knees that I've never seen. This is in why, my opinion. This is why we've got to, we've got to really start polishing up our our community's product. Okay. Because it's unpolished, and everyone's just throwing garbage at. Yeah, absolutely. And all it needs and is hoping it to, sticks. And hoping it but sticks. But the thing is, people are governing that of views, right? Yeah. So they're waiting for these views, but not every view is a good view. They might be all thinking this is a pile of shit. Yeah, yeah. But everyone's exactly. just like, views, 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 views. It's all about that. 15 seconds, 15 minutes. Do you know what I mean? It's all about that. It's a whole new world. And I'm a dinosaur. So I've got to, I've got to understand that as well. And, and it's, um, you know, I've, ju- I've just done this new project that um, I can't wait for everyone to see it. Yeah, definitely, man. man. I, I really can't wait. I've, I've worked on this for about two years. Nice. We went out and we filmed it the other day. It's a four-part mini-series, 15-minute mm. episodes. They're really short, but, but it's so... It's, it's just 15 minutes of entertainment, but good. And it's, it's structured well. Mm. And the act, I've, I've got actors in it as opposed to friends. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. And it's written well, and it's it's got a really good story. Okay. That people are gonna think they understand what's going on in episode one. So by episode two, three, they're gonna be like, "Wow, what's this really about?" Mm, mm, mm. And it's a project I got called Enoch. Okay. Um, you know, and it's mate, it's I, I it's, it's editing at the moment. Um, uh, uh, a guy called Sook, uh, cameraman, and um, he's doing the editing at the moment, and I. I can't wait. I can't wait for people to see it. No, nah, mate, and listen. It, it's, absolutely. It, yeah, and it's, it's... And what we'll do at the end of this episode... Yeah. Uh, when this goes out... Yeah. We'll have all the details of, like, yeah, your social yeah. media... Yeah, 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 your, yeah, your yeah, new yeah. stuff Definitely. coming out and so Definitely. on and so forth, so people can have a yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. Because, because the whole thing about me and acting is I had decided when I came out of jail after the five, after the four eight, I'm not going to act again. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide and I'm just going to get a job and I'm going to hide from people and I'll just live my life. And I'm sort of doing that, but not in so deep and, you know what I mean, detrimental to my 
social, whatever. So then I was doing a job with my pal Jerome, one of my best friends, my best friend. And um, the guy who he was doing the job for was a producer. Okay. So Jerome's like, yeah, he was acting, da, 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 he's done this, he's done that. And the guy was like, well, yeah, really? But now you're fucking kicking out my, my, my place. You, you, you're working on my... And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then he looked me up on YouTube and uh, looked me up on the IMBD or whatever they've put me on. IMDB, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's looked me up and he said, right, and he's given me a part in this film. It's a really bad film. Okay. <laughs> Mate, but the, when we was filming it, we thought this is a the lighting was like no lighting I've ever seen. It yeah, was bang on, it was the best. I thought, wow, this is gonna be amazing. I watched it, I was like, it was a really bad film. Yeah, really bad. I stopped promoting it and everything. <laughs> it's bad, <laughs> isn't it, when you do something and you're just like, no, oh, <laughs> <it's so laughs> but what it done, it got me into the thing of like, and a few people said it on set, this is what you need to be doing. Mm. Because this is what I'm actually good at. I've, I've never, I wasn't really good at crime. I got caught. I, I, I went jail. I, mm. I flipping didn't save no money. I made shitloads. Didn't save a penny. Do you know what I mean? I was not a good criminal. My pal was a really good criminal. He's thriving. I was not a good criminal. I'm a great actor. And I mean like, not just the bullet boy stuff. Like if you if you look at my CV, I've done. I've done work that is... Um, well, it's timeless work. It's timeless work. That's and the it, difference. It's, it's all iconic work. The Real McCoy is iconic. This, this was the... There hasn't... Re- I think Famalam coming along the other day, and that's the first black British thing since the Real McCoy, when I was 10. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? I just think, you know, I just want to get our hands together first off mm. for, for, for Leon Black, for just how great he's been, man. And, and to be able to... to Continuously bounce back. Oh, I'm the bounce back king. And, <laughs> and to still back, have... Yeah. Again, I'm trying to explain to you what it's like speaking to you yeah. as someone who knows you as the, the, the character, characters yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in Casualty. Yeah, 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 the Bills. In, the, 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 London's I was a Burning. firefighter in London's Burning. I was in fighting for Craig Rush, yeah, yeah. Stephen Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence yeah. You have to understand what it's like trying to... Because I even said it to George. I said to George, yeah. George is the first professional actor I've ever oh, wow. sat down and yeah. sp- spoke to. And George I'm, is an amazing person. You, you, honestly, you both are amazing. So George is, George is an idiot. Everyone I meet from East, yeah. especially when I'm raving it's and an that. It's an amazing, it's best, best. It, listen, East London, hands down, hands down. We, we are like, every, every, we are. We embody it all with, there's so much talent out of East. I ain't going to lie, I, lo- I love Essex, I love East, and I East, love North. Yeah. I can't lie. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all, all about North and East. I, lo- I love North, I, I do I, love I, North, I love East. I drive out of North and East, I get lost. I don't know where I am. Yeah, either. yeah, yeah. I yeah. North South and, and West, it don't make no West sense to me. <laughs> I, I work in South a lot now, and I can't I work in South all the time. I, I do not drive. I do not drive to South. I, I, I walk to the train station. I'm going to buy one of the scooters. Yeah, but yeah. I walk to the train station. I go to work. I'll get a train back and then jump in my car. I don't... South London. South is a different beast, no. mate. But East London and Dan... You know, we got Wiley. I was with Wiley the other day. We got Wiley. Wiley creates. Like, we are... You know, like... Legend. We, we got Idris. We got, like... Dude, come on. Yes, we got... You got plenty more. Plenty, like... Just plenty. The whole, like, everything East London does is massive. And, and I, I, I will always take pride in, in this film. I will always take pride in this film. And Absolutely. And Stephen Lawrence. Absolutely. And I, I'll take pride in that. Like, East London, people, my, my generation, East London, I get a lot of love from. Mm. Like, a lot of love, man. And they, they know what I've done. Some of the people I've done things to. Even step back and go, actually, I like you. you know? There's people who's, who's come up to me and said, you know what, Blacks, if it weren't you, I would have boxed out every two in your mat. But it's you, Blacks. You, you know. That's how a man talk to me. You, you no, know, because it's you, you know, Blacks. That's how they talk to me. Yeah, it's mad, it's mad, it's mad. But I like, I'm a good person. Mm. The core of me is a good person. Absolutely. I just, I've just, I've just done some bad things. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I regret them. Some and bad I think I've made making, man. some bad decision choices, and, and and you know even some of the bad things I've done, I've done out of love. It's it's, it's crazy. 
Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I'm not going to go into all the bad things, but, they, you know, and, uh, and it, uh, you know, even some of the people that have, some of the people that have done me wrong have reached out to me to talk and apologise. Some people have actually apologised and, and it's, it's just nuts. And I think getting older, I heard Margs and Looms on their podcast the other day, funny enough, and something stuck out to me where I think someone must have phoned in or something and asked Miles a question. And Miles was like, we're big men now. You know what I mean? We're... Oh, on the uh, Link on the, Up TV. The, I don't, I don't oh, know yeah, what, I know what, which one. He said, look, you, we're big men now. I don't care about all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mate, honestly, lost I'm a friends big fan of their work. Mark's lost a brother. Like, them lot have lost people and, and, and you know what I mean? Yeah, like, and they all, think these are all, this is all fun and games, Yeah, man. like, them days are done. That's why you look at the youth, man, now. My son's 15. He's a footballer. He's blowing up. He's just signed for Adidas. Like, he's doing stuff. And I worry. I worry. he knows what that worry. brings. Yeah, because I, I feel like he's going to follow in my path and, and people are going to, and it's going to all be the same messiness, but... But he's smarter than me and he's better than me and he's more improved than me and he's more dedicated and focused than me. Do you know what I mean? He's a, he's a really good kid. I just worry. He's in Newham. Newham's dangerous as far as I'm concerned. Yes. There's a lot of zombies in... Newham. Newham's a different place. It's, it's... Here, here's a different place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Newham's crazy, you know. Yes. And I always question him, but you got to understand that my generation was crazy to my mum's generation. Mm. Do you get what I'm there saying? There was more morals, though. There was definitely more morals, and they were killing. They, you know, like people weren't killing each other. If, you, if someone died back, if someone got shot back in the day, you, there was no, there was no thing about oh, he was such a great child. None of that. If a man got shot back in the day, he got shot for a reason. You know what I mean? F man died the other day. Fox died the other day. Fox, yeah, yeah. Me and Fox was gonna do some big things this year. You know, it was a shame. Fox told me come down to this 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 um, party we're having, and I phoned up my bridging G man, G man London, who's doing great things at the moment. By the way, G man London, please. He's um his fight is his fight is different. His fight is real. Look him up. But um, I phoned up G and I said, oh, it's too late to get the rental. Forget about it. Boom, Fox dead. There's been a few incidents in my life that leads me to believe I've got to do something in my life. Definitely. Because I've, I've escaped, I've just about escaped over minorest things. I've escaped this, being in this situation. Absolutely, man. And uh, like I said, I believe, I believe in the universe. I believe that the universe will always give you the opportunity, will always push yeah. opportunity your way. Whether you ignore it, if you ignore that opportunity, you've got a bit more to the left. You ignore another one, a bit more to the left. But if you keep accepting them, you come back and you're on your path. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? And I'm an actor. I'm meant to act. It's all I'm meant to do. I'm great at plastering. And I love it. And it's a good day job and it's good money. And I don't complain. Absolutely. But I'm, a, I'm an actor. And, and that's... And, and I decided a long time ago, like I told you, I'm done with this industry. I've done... I've, I've put... I give him 20 odd years in my life. I give the industry all my life, you mm. know, my whole childhood. Um, I've been beaten up for the industry. I've been rewarded for the industry. I've, I've been to places, I've met people that I wouldn't have met before. I've, Absolutely. I've, you know, I've, I, I'm grateful for every part of it. But in this day and age, this is a perfect time for me to say, well, I don't need to act in this industry. I don't even want to be part of this industry. These rappers nowadays, they're not even signing to labels. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So why would I need to... Sign on a dotted line for this... For yeah. anything. You know, unless you're... Unless you've come to me without asking me to audition. If you've come to me and you've written something and I'm perfect for it, that's a different thing. Absolutely. But I'm not going to go out my way to audition. I tried it. I was with an agency the other day and I was going on auditions and I was just thinking, this ain't... This is all, it's all fast. It's all this new age fast and, you know what I mean? They're mm. not acting. These guys ain't acting. I think the hard thing is as well is, is getting to come into terms, sorry, with the fact that you've got to adapt to this. Yeah, now this is the thing. I refuse. Like, why should I adapt to, why should I adapt to something that I helped, helped build and create? It's true, but... 
And I'm not talking about everyone. It's true, I'm talking but about me. Why should I? But, be on they, but they don't care now. The industry. The, the industry you've helped build, hmm. now they don't care. So, so then what do you I... do next? Create your own. I agree. Create your own. That's what these rappers have did. They've created their own industry. They're not asking Sony and XYZ and boom, boom, boom and EMI. They're just putting, making the guy, they're linking up. A lot of them link up in jail, busting rhymes in jail, da da da. Come out, go studio, score five an hour, bam, 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 it's a hit, million views, da da da. It's got crazy, it's crazy. Why do you, you don't need these majors no more? Yeah, I know, I know. It's you crazy. Know what I mean? Mm. But then you, but then they but do the, things. The only right? problem is with that is everyone thinks they can do that. Nah, some, this is the some problem. Some people need a label. I'm just going to let you know. This is the problem now. So you've got a bunch of chances and you've got, you know, the whole internet is flooded with shit. Like, flooded with shit. Yeah, man. Bad. And, and it's getting more, there's more really bad things that are getting way more visible. Because they're the, they're the best of shit. Do you know what I mean? If you only produce But I don't shit, even mean music and that. I'm talking um, people being killed, I'm people talking getting beaten up. Internet. I'm talking failure. internet. I'm talking this whole thing. The whole thing. This mm. whole thing. You gotta remember, like I said, I went away before the iPad. I come out to the I come out the, the, the millennium, the, the, everything's built. I'm raw. What's going on? It must have been crazy. I'm driving down roads and I can't drive down them no more. Everything's on the phone. I didn't have a phone when I just got out and I, I walked around with an iPad <laughs> like it was my phone because I was just so excited. You know what I mean? Then I got my first phone after a month or so. And da, 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 and, but like, it's just, it's just nuts now. Mm, of course. It's man. nuts. But I feel that there's a, there's a base that's been created for us to have our own industry now. Like, this, this whole genre need our own. Stop running, but it needs to be polished. Definitely. The product needs to be polished because it's not polished. I agree. And man. It's, it's not trained and it's not, it's, it's not realistic. Mm. Even though, even though the topics might be real, it's not realistic. There's a lot that goes into being realistic when you're filming. Yeah. Your, your, your facial expressions appear bigger on screen. Or yeah, you, definitely. You need to know how to identify with a camera. You need to be aware that that camera is there. You need to be taught these things. Projection, diction, eye contact. Mm. I watch interviews of these rappers. They do not look at the person they're talking to. <laughs> yeah. They're all down there. Yeah, car. Man done. Yeah, yeah. You see me? And then they look up. You understand? <laughs> no, don't understand nothing you've just said. <laughs> not a word you've just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No charisma, no, no, because they're not, they're not trained in, in, and, and, and the, the, the American industry, they train people. These people are trained. A perfect example, Kano, um, Top Boy, season one, did not like his performance. I thought it was terrible. Oh, you didn't like his performance? No, I thought it was terrible. Season two, I said, wow. The one after that, Mad. So Kano stole the f Kano stole the show. Yeah. Kano was the best thing in the last top boy. Madness. Dave was terrible. Dave was terrible. Love his music. No, 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 I don't even I'm gonna be honest, I don't even really like Dave's music that much. I like Dave's music. No, I, no, I'm, I, like, I'm, I don't mean I like Dave I don't think it's and I'm not saying uh, no. I don't think it's good or yeah, nothing yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm just saying for some reason his music really doesn't no, it don't get you hit me if it don't hit as, you, much don't hit as, you. as much as I want it to and yeah. I've tried to. I do yeah, album yeah, yeah. reviews and all well, sorts of stuff I, online and that as well. So. I, like the, I like the ones that, the commercial ones that come out. I've never listened to his album. But that born in, I grew up in Streatham, all of that. Listen, I, out there, but they, they, I just thought his part wasn't great in that. But he was terrible. No, he was terrible. He overacted. It was wild. It didn't seem real. You know you got brothers like this, fine. Mm. But on, t on screen, it's different. That's why it pisses me off when people are always coming to me and saying, ah, oh, Blacks, I've got this idea for a film and don't ever come, don't come to me with ideas. Come to me with a script or come to me with something. Man, just come to me with ideas like I'm going to say, yeah, that's brilliant, let's do it. So they're always saying, I want to do this and I'm going to make it real. And I'm, like, oh, I'm done with real. 100% done with real. Yeah, because yeah. if you want to watch something, just open your window. <laughs> yeah. You're still living in the estate. Well, again, this is why people, people are addicted to podcasts now. Yeah, well, this is it. Because they're getting these 
literally off the cuff, real Burst conversation. Yeah, and and that's it. But but don't but, but they, 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 listen, comedies, um, rom coms, dramas. Um, there's other things that we don't just run around sell drugs and shoot each other. <laughs> that's yeah, no, yeah, it's true. I'm not. You're not seeing a lot of like more. And and to, to perfectly loop it all up, you know, this was the whole thing that started me well. Psychological well, things for. or, you know, weird... Th- I love, like, weird things like Requiem for a Dream and things like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I like that. Yeah. Do you but, know but, that? But, but you see what I'm saying? So, 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 if you go back all the way to when I was four and I said to my mum, why is there no black people on TV? And, and I wanted to represent black people on TV. The black people that are represented on TV now... It's not in the greatest light. It's worse than, than back then. Do you get what I'm saying? It's rife. And then the rappers are encouraging it. And then the rappers are making films. Encouraging and showing us... An... Yeah. So, so when my daughter, if I have one, watches a TV programme, she's going to think that's their options. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. But, but, but when white kids watch TV programmes, look how many options. Pub owners. Doctors. Nurses, the bill. You could be I a didn't even officer. think of that, man. Because because that's the way tell live vision is. Why would you think of it? You don't need to think. You just watch yeah, and yeah. become. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I think now that we've got all these cameras about and all these... Um, Too much these, cameras. This outlet. Yeah, but we've got this outlet now. Let's just polish it up. Think outside you know it's too much gangster, gangster, gangster. It's too much. It is too much. It we too we much. need to be painted in a different light. Mm. It's too much. It's, you, you've rinsed it. So what would you say to, as, a, as a last comment to everyone there, maybe to the youth and stuff about prison and the road life, what, what could you say to people now just as like a sign-off for, for Leon Black? No, everyone, I, we're going to give him a clap no, again, Josh. I'll tell you what. To, to sign it off, the road is long. Ultimately, road is long. Everyone, listen, even the most successful men are done with it. They're, they're tired. Men are tired. The road's long. What you look out there, the young youths are doing, that's crazy. To stop that straight away. Stop stabbing each other because he's in a different area or because he's got Canada Goose. Stop it. You can go and get a paper around, save up for you. I don't know what you can do. Stop it. You get me? The whole thing, stop it. Work with each other. Do you know what I mean? Work with each other. We've got these massive outlets, man. You've got these massive outlets. You've Big got all outlets. these social media. So much to do. You're man. all doing the same thing. The other day, Nines went away. His name shouldn't even be involved. How? You know what I'm saying? These guys <laughs> are millionaires now. Leave it alone, man. Build, 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 build. And build positive. And, and, and build a movement. So, Because the young youths doing madness out there now, they're going to have kids in a few years. And when they have their kids, they're going to think differently. But they ain't got a choice now. Mm. So stop it now. Just, just, just done with the roads, man. The roads is dead. There's no, there's no. It's dead. My cousin got killed, shot in the head. So, so allegedly, that, they say that. They say they say he committed suicide. My cousin would never commit suicide. My cousin is a very influential person in South London as well. Um, just, 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 just allow it. And let's build. Let's build our own. And let's polish our our products. Yeah. Let's start. Let's start showcasing ourselves in better light. Let's, let's, let's think about new topics to, to discover. Let's not go on to what we're good at, Bullet Boy Part 10, because that's all everyone's creating. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? They don't, don't ever think that they've created something new. You're just reinventing the wheel. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't ever think that what you, 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 your ideas ain't new. Show me a new idea and I'll, 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 I'll relish it. I do. I watch the YouTubes and all that and I'll relish it. But you show me the same old project... You should, I want to go back to plaster. I just want to plaster walls. Yeah, no, of course, yeah, of course. Of course. To do and at least you've got that trust now. Yeah, oh, do you know? I've never had a skew in my so life. So again, yeah. let, let's so let's it. clap Leo for for, for, for uh, being yeah. out of prison. Yeah, I'm moving moving yeah. in, in a really and Enoch, positive Enoch, way. Enoch, before you clap it, Enoch. So Enoch. so new project. So um, and I haven't spoke about this. So I put one picture up on social media. But Enoch is a project that I'm I'm so buzzing about. And I can't wait for everyone to see it. And I know it's going to shock people. Okay. I know it's. I know that it's people. Are, it's going to get get the brains thinking, and it's going to. People are going to be really shocked. It's going to be so different from all the shit that's out there now. Mm. I think. I, I think I'm going to up the standard. 
I think I'm gonna single-handedly up the standard. I think, mate, listen, yeah. the standard you've already created for yourself yeah, yeah. is massive. Yeah. So, guys, Thank that's you. the Dominic Coleman podcast with Leon Black. Uh, please, we're going to put all his different details yeah. at the end of this episode. Again, thank you so much, Josh, for recording. And again, Leon, you go. give me some love, my brother. A pleasure. Yeah.